Sound now, sound now. I bet yeah. it's working now. I now, feel, I feel take like, two. Well, let's see. Can you call her? Can you turn up your radio? Yes, yeah, sound, sound now. now. Okay, that's great to hear. Welcome uh, to hey. Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the best sound. And yeah. Erlen is back. We really, Welcome. We were considering a silent movie. Yeah. We were considering. But the audience didn't take to, take to and it. And to so. give you the gift of learning how to read lips. This <laughs> that's is what our right. plan was. We're like, it's we'll let challenge. you. We'll give you all the opportunity <laughs> to read lips. <laughs> yes. <laughs> best, uh, greatest anecdote ever. It was amazing. Never to be repeated. No, it's not. Yeah, you're going to have happen. to read the lips. Um, yeah, th I got a new computer mm. uh, just before last show. Nice. So ironing out of course, all the of problems. Course. Hopefully there's less than last show. It'll be less and less each time yeah, with new as tech, I discover them. With new tech, you almost take a tiny step back as you calculate everything and then take a giant leap forward. Yeah, It just takes a minute to sort of like, especially when you've like cultivated a setup. Oh my God. And there's <laughs> all these tiny little pieces that have to be in place. Especially and it, for your requirements. <laughs> oh, there's so many things going on in here. It's out of control. But uh, today we have a very special show. We are going to be playing two brand new Lynx games that are getting released at Portland Retro Gaming Expo next week. Nice. Uh, they are Oda Nexus and Growing Ties Deluxe. And Growing Ties has three bonus games we're all gonna, also going to take a look at inside that. Um, so this is very, very exciting. Everybody gets a sneak preview of next week's releases. I've never heard of this Lynx. So oh, this, this is, is awesome. Atari's handheld system. And uh, yeah, it is actually very, very powerful. It's got a low resolution, but a lot of power backing it up, so it can do some pretty amazing things. What era was this released in? Is this like? Oh, you're. Uh, I'm sorry. Asking I'm me questions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I <laughs> no. chat. What era? Yeah, is chat. We'll, we'll move forward. Chat will know. I would chat will know. Uh, uh, early, late '80s. That sounds about yeah. '89. How would I do? I love how I'm like confirming. I'm like that sounds about right. I have no <laughs> fucking like, clue. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Gently scrolling beside Erlen. A cardboard box, Alifred, Android, Atari, Arkham H7, Arm Scar Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 974, Atari H, Atari Maximus, Beef, Supreme Bear, Pocock, Chelsea, Donnie Mal, Charles, Willen, Chitla, La Cole, Patch, Colonel, Lama, Cubanism, Odeon, Oid, Danny VC, Dario, 1970, Dios, Kilos, Dr. Mook, Has, Gamma, Dev, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Archie, Rapper, Homeboy, Homebrew, Homeboy, Jedkaya, Johnny WC, Kabuto, Kenzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Kveltfer, Lambda Express, Larn DTZ, Marco Hernandez, Mark Space, Sigma, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Michael Town, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mitchell Zarna, Whoop, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Mini, Net Spectre, Net Spectre. Uh, Nostalgia Pack, Rat, Dave Koag, R. Entrance, RC70, We're Under, Ghost, Pendless, VG, Ricardo Pims, Rock Castle, Rick Six Sweet, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spiceware, Spinley, Estimators, Tested and Rocking, T Flock, D Train, Tiki Dan, K Tok, Mantra Trek, and Vivex RX, Vintage Game Memories, Vitoko, VG Double Down, and X Ken X. Oh my god. And now, Lord Kraken 79. Lord Kraken. Thank you. And also, before the show, see, I did those things. I don't know if you saw them. Oh, yeah. They go blue, blue, blue. Oh, that's really nice. Dude, the Twitch is starting to like. It's, yeah, it's ramping up. It's moving. And also, S. Ramirez resubscribed just before the show. Thank you so much, everybody who supports the show. It warms my heart, or one heart. Warms our hearts. That's right. That. Warms everyone's heart, especially these two cats. In <laughs> yes, particular. they love the you attention. Were the, you were the provider of treats at this point. They got more treats now than it's before we did treats yum, on the show. See? Yum, yum, See, yum. like, Case it was in point. Game. Gamma Devil, 52 yo. seconds of sub mention. Somebody timed me. Last show, they said, I'm going to time them. That's smart, actually. See if I can beat it. Uh, you also have to take into account the number of subs I have to read out. And I think it's like. 
75, 76. So it's subs per second should be the measurement. Ooh, nice. Kind of like, what is it, types per second? What's the That's like, right. What's the... Keystrokes, words per sec. Words, well, words per, minute. per minute, that's what it is, minute. Because per second would be like, <laughs> it'd be crazy. Not great. It'd be like one, <laughs> Not two. Not the best metric. Yeah. Okay, cats. Let's uh, get everything uh, up and ready for you. Uh, where is your... Oh, where's your thing? Why isn't it up here? Oh, I'm going to have to go find it again. Yes, I am. I'm going to have to go find it. Um, yeah, we're going to... But gonna... I'll start the bedding so we can uh, get that going. I don't know if you've been here. Have you been here for the bedding? I have been here, just for the one time, though. Okay. So let's start a prediction. Boom. People can start betting. Uh... Atari's been winning about half recently. He stepped oh, up his game. Oh, the dog. One. Yeah, the, the underdog. Dog is moving up. But I don't know if that can continue. They heard the bell, but the service is severely lacking. I agree. Poor kittens. Yeah, like, Sprite is just like... <laughs> He's he, fairly he, relaxed now. Well, he looks like he, he was convinced that we tossed something in the corner and he was like oh. examining it. He's like searching for like, he's like, maybe they tossed it. And he's like, that could be. I think the catnip can go uh, one of two ways. It's the thing about the catnip. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it can. It can People like are playing with that performance like... enhancing drug or performance depleting drug. It really, it's it's all about dosage, is what they say. <laughs> <laughs> it is all about with the, the catnip. Amount. It's all about a basin of catnip, a barrel of catnip. Yeah, there's no. <laughs> oh my God, what is it called? There's no, there's no catching that. Let's go to the stream. I know where it is. I know where it is now. So yeah, so people have been playing around with catnip before, catnip after, trying to affect the um, the There's, outcome. Got some for scientists Atari. here. They are. They have right? some hypotheses. They're like they're performing experiments. They're collecting data. No, they're examining this yeah, data. I don't think they have enough data yet because otherwise that Atari would be winning more. But That's maybe right. it, because he has been winning more. But we're just know. you know when is the data ever co fully collected? It's the <laughs> and problem. And it's never hundred percent guarantee even then. Yeah, we need a large sample pool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you. Look Oh, kittens. Give out. It's about the to treats. pop off for you it guys. It is about to get going. About 10 seconds left, five seconds. Oh, people are all on Sprite. There's only one person who bet on Atari, so Dude, they're about to win yo, big. Okay. So who bet it's on the Atari? Because the situation. This is what's going on. It's like you and Red Bull at work for Toko. Okay. Are you ready, cats? Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, Atari's off to a great start. Wow. And then Sprite. Sprite. Okay, this is already popping off. Yep. One to one, but what Atari has got in right early. And you want to shut that door. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah, get yeah. that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Without alerting Atari. Oh, did you miss anybody? Oh, uh, that's that like, Sprite? That felt like a double. I'm just going to do that. Yeah, I'm I think it do was double. a double. Yeah. What? Did you bat it away? Oh, my God. It's right behind him. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. There you go. Oh, and Sprite is pulled ahead just barely, but Atari's on it. He seems to be... Ex Whoa, Well, Whoa, that's a strong. confident bell. That is very confident. That's a sturdy, confident oh, bell. And Sprite is not so confident. He's fumbling it. Whoa, oh. Atari pulls ahead. 4-3, and Sprite is still... Oh, there okay, he goes. Okay, there we go. It's not very strong, uh -oh. but he's uh, yeah. he's getting it. But Atari is, is on his game today. Oh, 5-4, An he's still ahead. Another confident... <laughs> Oh, very that's a tiny little delicate tiny little dainty ring. hit, but I think that's not going to do well for him. Still that counts. tiny little ring. Oh Ooh. no, it does. Oh, stolen. It's right here. It was stolen, intercepted. Yeah, and then lost. I don't know if that's a good uh, strategy okay, by buddy. Atari, but he's tied it up, batting a, a a sprite's treat away. It might work. He is distracted now. Oh, it does work. Seven six. Turning into a combat sport. Oh, I heard that. Seven seven. It was a very tiny dig. Okay, I'll he give it to him. It. I'll give it to him. It, it was so that didn't count. Because he hit that it was, with his tail. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Man, Atari is now ahead. Eight seven. Solid hits a, from Atari. This okay, is gonna be a Sprite. photo finish. Sprite gets it. Atari's gonna get it at nine. Nine eight for Atari. And Sprite is now tied it up. Nine nine. It is game point. It's any cat's game. Can okay, Atari finish it up? And it is 
Oh, it's 60 Sprite, dude. An upset. Sprite oh, gets it. Oh, wow. Here you go. I'll let you give the last. Dole out the goodness. There we go. It's a couple treats for you guys. There we go. For being good sports. Wow. That was quite a finish. So close for the number number one person who yeah, was. Yeah, that one person almost got it. Ooh, last second turnaround it was. Okay, so let's... Uh, I'll tell that. you this, it, it is pretty 50-50 with these guys now. And I have yeah. to say, I, I appreciate the confident bell ringing from Atari. Like oh, Some yeah. really solid, he's, just... He's hits. been very confident lately. But maybe in the second round. Do we have? Did we have enough for another round? We do. I have to get more treats, though. I just lost a bet. Yorgi's Castle bet on Atari. Well, Yorgi's. it was a good way to go because there was only there's nobody betting on Atari. So let's see who uh, who won big. Gamma Dev. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, two people bet two on people Atari. That must have been a last in. minute. I last think I think once vote. we commented on, someone realized the power <laughs> yeah. of. Oh, it's, you can just bet ten ten channel points and you could win. Yeah. I'm not a big better, but I hear a lot of people say that like if there's a huge margin, like you can yeah. do a little bit and get a bunch. It's almost yeah. always worth tossing just, just a little bit. Just throw it in there. Know, a yeah, little, little tenor. No, little, little. Yeah, maybe, maybe 10, a twenty. 20. Let's yeah. see. Uh, so I fixed my um, raid array that attached to my computer. It was the fan was going for a long time. I was like, bad sound. So a while back, I ordered a fan for it, a replacement fan. And then I got it, and it was like, oh, that's the wrong end. Wrong yeah. connector. It didn't even have the right number of wires. It had four wires, and the one that's existing had three. So I'm like, no, I can't do that. Um, then I just sat in it for a while, looking for another fan, but all the connectors were totally wrong. Uh, and then I thought, okay, well, I'm going to have to splice the existing connector onto another fan of the same size, but I have to find a three-wire fan. And I did... And I got it last night, spliced it up, put it in, totally worked. Okay, so. this is good to hear. So now it's back. And I don't hear any going. grinding sounds. It's very quiet now. Very quiet. You can so hear the fans. You can hear, but, but it's a smooth ride now, yep, you know. It's very, very smooth. Uh, Dan, I bet 250 and won 396. Well, you bet on the, the one who uh, was going to win, <laughs> most likely <laughs> so. But you won a little bit um what else prge is one week away oh my god it starts next friday that's really exciting and, uh, tanya and i are going to be down there so come say hi to us so we'll give you some stickers and if we have anything uh left we'll give you some um zph thing <sighs> as well nice yep uh if we have any left um yeah we'll get a picture with you i'd love to get pictures with people and say hi to them and this uh, year, we're going to do a, take it a little bit more relaxed. We did like 15 interviews last time. <laughs> I love it. Like, I love how now you could just do like five interviews and it oh, feels relaxed. Right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's crazy last year. We had like literally zero time to do anything but interviews. Yeah. We were interview to interview. Even the day we're leaving, we're planning to leave like not even go to PRG in the morning. We had to go back to PRGE, do like three more interviews to, to get them all done. And we just barely made it on time back to the concert we had tickets for last year. You can you can see why like YouTubers and people who are at like that that level where that's their like business, yeah. they'll just have like an editor and a camera person, so that way they can just go to these events, boom, boom, boom. like do the content, and then yeah. like send it off to someone who's cutting it. Then, They're not then, a one man band. Yeah, <laughs> it's because yeah. it's so like it's crazy it's how intensive. like or even just one extra person. Hey, like yeah. it's it's actually quite a bit to pull that stuff off. You know? Oh, it is. Uh, uh, have you uploaded all the interviews from last year? No. Uh, there's about two or three left. Uh, now that I have the raid array going, yeah. where they're all housed on, I'm going to try this weekend to finish them all up um, before, because it's kind of an embarrassment going to the next year's event, no. and you don't have the last year's event stuff done. Oh, my God. How is it at PRG? Do you get a ton of people who recognize you? Some famous YouTubers don't get a lot. That's why I ask. I think the really famous YouTubers don't, get approached because people are afraid to approach them of course there's people that who just don't care they yeah. just go up to them and go hey hi blah, i'm gonna take an hour of your time but it's all about um, where it's all about context right like it is you know if dr disrespect goes to a fucking <laughs> call of duty well, <laughs> the thing yeah. it's like but then if he goes Mobbed. into like but if he goes into walmart like people will be like what is what is this yeah it's about the bubble and, what's this homeless person doing <laughs> <laughs> why does he look so strange with a fake mustache and sunglasses and a hat is this a, is this a halloween costume are we is <laughs> early of. halloween um, right, it's all like it's interesting how like 
it's been ramp it's been ramping up i would say last year um 2022 was a big leap because it hadn't happened for three years yeah two years oh yeah because of that thing that, that thing that happened yeah. around the world um <laughs> We got recognized quite a bit, like a huge ramp up over 2019. Um, so yeah, it was three year period in between. Um, so I'm expecting this year to be a little bit more uh, people might recognize me, but yeah, I don't mind people coming out to me. I'm not like big and famous. I'm just enough that it's also helps that this bad. is like your community, right? And it like, is. It feels like in a way, like all these guys feel like our friends. Like, you know, it's like we all yeah. have this shared interest and it's not, that's a tough thing when you hit that higher level where it's like, you, ha you, you just, have tens of thousands of fans. You just don't know like how that goes. There's a lot of like I don't feel like there's a lot of like hate watchers. I don't think there might be any, Zero. which is kind of nice because that also happens too. I, I get very little negativity in the YouTube comments, and obviously none on the Atari Age forums. But because YouTube is a very public thing, yeah, you, anybody can just say anything. Um, but overwhelmingly positive, and it's usually not about like personal things. It's about the game or something oh, yeah. like that and I, I usually don't respond to anything negative it's just there it's unless the way it's, to do unless it, it's just yeah. outrageously stupid and then i then i will like shadow ban them <laughs> if it's like way over the top it's not constructive at all it's like targeted or something like that um but prg is a good time and that's why i wanted to do less this year so you can enjoy so, the thing. And I can say hi to people. Last time, people were afterwards said, oh, I didn't want to come up. You're busy. And I was like, well, that's that sucks a lot. I don't want to be that busy. So this year, we're just going to do like some live streaming. Nice. Not, not interviews. Because last year was a big gap from when it last happened. So a lot of people from overseas are coming. So I'm like, okay, take advantage of this. There's so many developers I'll probably never see again. And I did a ton of interviews, but this year, take it easy. Oh, yeah. Play some games. Just relax, go around, say hi to people. Um, yeah, do not feel afraid to come up. Please come up and uh, say hi. Um, that'd be super awesome. Yeah, last year was unbelievable. And it sucks that I couldn't enjoy it <laughs> as yeah. much. I mean, I enjoyed it in a different way. Yeah, so it's different when you go to something for work versus, say, like for pleasure. <laughs> Thomas is on me, which is good. Uh, how's your own game doing? Zero progress. Yo. There's two things. Actually, wait, wait it's more of a 0.5% progression we've had. Right. So this isn't like yep, that 0. 0.5, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's some cool news coming up about Zero Page Homebrew, the game. Oh. That I might be able to reveal next show. Maybe. Nice. I don't know. We'll see. Um, there's two things I have to get done before I work on the game. One is getting these interviews done. Mm -hmm. uh, two is another video project that I'm working on that I need to get out the door as well. And that's quite a bit bigger. But once I get in the rhythm of and a template for getting that done, I can knock it out pretty quick. I think there's six episodes that I have to release and it's like pre-recorded things. It's not too it's, bad. No, it's not too bad. It's a YouTube thing. You gotta just it's so hard with that stuff though. Once you're in, you're in. It really is like a boulder, like that yeah. first like push, but once it's going, you're like, oh, I know how to do this. Yeah, and, and I mean this show it's set up. I've got all the all the things. Oh, they're looking at our feet. Come on, people. <laughs> Let me know. We're not our, our feet talking. Um <laughs> That's so funny. Um, this is a we, we're we're targeting a different audience this yeah. time. Yeah, we're, we're, mm. we're hoping to expand. Why are the donations going up? The, uh, <laughs> what are these new faces that are appearing? Yeah. Oh, that's so silly. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's that's why. Uh, Planet picking up today's two links titles at PRG. Oh, oh nice, nice. Yeah. Yes. Um, some more PRG e news. Speaking of that, uh, let's make sure we get the right. Thing. Here is the banner for Atari Age with all the releases. And I always on love it. the art on these so much. Oh, like I just feel like so that's, good that's, this year. That's something in particular that always strikes me is how beautiful the art for these covers it are. It is really good. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in even. There we go. Yeah, like this classic, like can this. I, can I like? I can kind of do that. Kinda... Let's let's go to the. It's too big. <laughs> I don't know how to make it small. We'll look, to... look at that. Uh, so. There's Barry Fun, Bot and Tom, Caramujo, Electroball, uh, Game of the Bear, Too Much to Bear, Immunity, Penalt. Oh, I love that cover. Penalt. 
so sick with dread. I mean, oh, dude, yeah. I'm so, you got me when you have a knight with a dragon on his shoulder. Like, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm so in, good. man. I'm, oh, we can scroll down here. There I'm we go. I'm so in. Uh, oh, I can probably scroll like that, too. Quantum Tunnel, Robot Zed, Scorch, RT, Death Merchant, EXO. I really like Harpy's this Harpies. Like, I, this is some classic sort of like yes. A, B, and D kind of art, which is very cool. Oh, I cool love that see. style. And yeah. then the Millie Mollies and kind of kind of like cutesy, yeah, yeah. But fits also the game, they all fit the game. But kind of like kind of like two D animated style, oh, like right? Cut out, like you move the head independently, and yeah, yeah, and like kind of that sort of sort of style of animation. Who's the new guy, Dan? Uh, Plum Luck, uh, and these were re the Nova Gen was recently announced. Uh, Man, and Rocket Ranger War. looks like a VHS cover for for like a <laughs> terrible does. yet amazing movie. That's you right. know what I mean? So <laughs> bad it's good. Yes. Uh, Rocket Ranger for the Jaguar. And today's games, Growing Ties and Odin Nexus for the Lynx. Ooh. And I believe these are the first two Lynx titles ever to be released by Atari Age. Um, so this is the banner they hang up at the Atari Age booth. This is actually very big you can see there's really a, nice a cat cage there <laughs> right beside it so you can get <laughs> cat cage for scale and also the water the bottles ball. help give like a sense that's of... right uh rocket ranger is a cinemaware port uh you got it um and here's some posters that were recently revealed as oh, well for two nice. of the games they packed in uh i believe these are folded in half and fit in the box to give you a um, sense of scale for that um where can we I uh, got to interview uh, VHZZ, the author, Game of the Bear, at Santiago Atari Expo. Glad to see the title on that poster. Yeah, man. Look, look That's us, awesome. Yeah, link, link it up. Link in the chat. Let us know. Anything uh, that they, in the community. I love that dude. I love his work. So any, getting here. Oh, talk, he's amazing. He's, yeah. He, while you're away, he had a, he had a bit of a, an issue, a bit of a tragedy. Uh, his house flooded. Fuck, man. And he lost all his data. Oh, all of it oh it's not like brutal. this brutal yeah um so oh this is too big uh we'll look at it like this nice beautiful posters for Artie and caramujo i can see why al wanted to include the posters yeah, man, for those it's a muddy games. vision oh yeah um and uh there is the new uh announcement that was announced yesterday nova gen volume one which we did uh premiere on the show a couple months ago uh, encounter and backlash for the Jaguar to fun 3D first person kind of tank battle zone type games. Very, very fun. Some um, classic stuff. Very classic stuff. It's really, really good. I really enjoyed um, which one was it? I think the one with the bouncing. I think it was backlash. Really bouncy bullets. That was a ton of fun. Um, so that will be available at PRG along with 20 other titles uh super great release schedule uh and no working backup yeah vh that's he lost everything he became very disheartened but he's now back working on games he's working on a new um windows based game of slide boy in maze land or or slide boy um so yeah, he's man. back on it he can check stay out away. anything that guy makes oh, he's so just good. it's always yeah uh so it's time to play the first game, Ode Nexus. Last time we played this was January 31st, 2023. Um, early on when we got the Lynx uh, system, and I think that was even before we got the joystick. Our specially made joystick by Double Down so that cool. attaches to the Lynx. Uh, and this is a special Lynx that we're um, using that attaches to a VGA out. And uh, so I can do, oh, the cats, stink it up the place. Guys. Um, attached to the upscaler, so we're able to see the links on the stream. So that's a very uh, special thing. Um, this is exclusive final version of Odin Nexus by Lord Kraken and Ander Lex. Uh, Drozirix does the music. Uh, Michael Spazowski does the music adaption, Miker. And Bitjag did the packaging artwork for this. Uh, and this was first uh, debuted in 2019 during Silly Ventures. So it's it's been uh, been a while, been four years to this release. So it's been uh, highly anticipated by myself. I love shooters. Yeah. Uh, and this is a really good one. Tremere has been waiting for this one. As oh, well, yeah. So. It's uh, beautiful graphics, great sound. It's got huge bosses, like take up the whole screen. 
um, in a place third. I don't know how. It must have been very good competition that year in Silly Venture 2019. So I'm going to let you play it. Cool. And I'll uh, read some stuff out about it. Yeah, huge, huge boss. Like okay, probably let's, the let's check this out, man. Let's see how this... Uh, so let's give you the joystick and I'll switch over the display so you can see it as well. Um, so select today's date as soon as that goes away. There you go. Uh, other button. One right there. Just didn't press it. Uh, one down. Didn't press it exactly right. And RC7. There we go. Not to be confused with RC7. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Odin X says Journey to Ithaca. Oh, fuck yeah. Do not copy. I will not. Atari Age, yo. Do, 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 do. Ancient World. I'm seeing a sort of like. Octopi. Yeah, that's their Cthulhu esque. Though thee who defy the gods. Where art thou, mind king? king. Mind the loveth. Fuck oh, yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's do Go it. Go to Nexus. And I feel like there's a. Is this a purple haired lady? Or is yeah. this a, a torch with purple? I think it's, it's, I think the, it's the queen that oh. is waiting for your return. There's the high scores. Okay. Let me just. I like this little. Here. Kind of sounds a little like. Porch, which is nice. Oops. Uh, filters, compressor. Okay, I think we're good. Um, okay, press the A button. And uh, just to let you know, the controls one is fire, um, and you can hold it down for shield, weapon, life. Those are the things you want. And extra time. So hold it down. Okay, don't press anything yet. Um, so you could, it is rapid fire, so you can hold down that button. Cool. Um, the other button is for speed up, and you have to hold that down to move fast. You may or may not need it, so you might want to just hold down both buttons at all times. And see what happens. And see what happens, or just start with the fire button. Okay, let's do it. Um, so go for it. <laughs> Probably want to hold it down. I don't know. Maybe. There's some beholders already. Yeah. They're on the attack. Wow. Well, it's and good to be so back playing Atari games. You so want that? Yeah, you've been uh, playing some modern games. What oh. you been playing? Oh, oh death to you. I'll let you play. I'll read some stuff out. Okay, cool. So you're not distracted. Um, so this was the real release announcement info for Atari Age for the PRGE release of it. Uh, face the Olympian gods and their ancient creatures as you take flight towards your throne and Penelope, your queen. So you uh, are I destined mean, uh, to be king. You mean Pen Penelope? Penelope. <laughs> Penelope. <laughs> um, uh, traverse. That, that was the queen, our purple haired yes, Twitch I streamer. So. Queen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just gotta get attention with the purple hair <laughs> and lord kraken the developers in the chat well lord kraken Hell. lord kraken oh i'm seeing some rc7 kraken. Uh, as release candidate number seven means that we thought we were done we had to go through seven more releases before we nailed it down and that, that's very usual man this this triple like shot is business i i, I, I want to keep that going oh how can it's i stop cinematic Oh, it's boss time. Mid boss. Oh no, I wanted that power up. I feel you like can get it. You can get it. Feels there dubious. You go. To, okay, now I got some lasers. Now you got some power. I'm gonna lasers. hit that eye. That the eye. Yes. It's the eye of Sauron. It's always good when they throw in something that indicates you're actually doing damage. So oh, I've played games so where it's just like, better. am I hitting something? Oh, but I missed that triple power. I know. But I did. I think the lasers might have been great for this. You will want the laser. Like you'll kill those things in two shots now instead of like three or four big deal for those triple shots better but maybe the next upgrade weapon yeah it's kind of like for the crowd control like the triple shot is like oh, oh yeah. timing oh yeah it's okay really we got our beholder eyes i mean you're gonna encounter another boss where you'll want that no oh, oh i'm no. very vulnerable in this game hey like one one, one hit. hit and yeah okay you can get like five lives though that's good news. I'm on the board, though, which is nice. I'm above 100. So. Yep. 
option one is cycle through your weapons. So you get downgraded one weapon. Yeah, the options over there. Oh, so I got triple shot again. Does that mean I went back quite some ways, or did I like? Uh, I th I don't think it puts you back too far. I think the checkpoints are pretty. Yeah, because triple shot is great for these like um, there you go. those like bats that are sporadically like like this is solid with this laser, but I'd rather have the triple shot. So I can actually get you to the triple shot. Oh, that's okay. I feel like I gotta earn it the triple shot. You know? Who knows? This laser is doing its job. Uh... Oh, is this a boss? Let's not mess with it right now. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Oh, it's big boss time. What the? Oh. Okay, well, this is... I got some missiles. Pretty I'll, good, I'll actually. take some missiles. Wow, oh, that made short work. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty happy with the missiles compared to the triple shot. I'm not going to yep. lie. Traverse seven treacherous worlds. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> that will take you above the clouds, below the sea. And through flames. Looks like you're above the clouds now. I love the setting. Ooh, that's pretty good. It's very rapid fire. Oh, Whoa. It's, 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 the only thing is that it's a bit slow, um, uh, which is... It, I don't know if it's that slow. They're pretty uh, grouped close together. Whoa. Oh, oh, yeah, no. I see. I think because it drops down and then goes. Oh. So for these ones, you I have to fly up higher to correct. Higher. Yeah. Um, but I'm also not gonna complain about having missiles. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Back to back to, back to some lasers. Lasers. Whoa! Okay, this is getting bullet hell for me. It doesn't seem to be able to cycle through. Maybe my okay. option one is not uh, okay. working very well. Um, you proved them wrong in Odin Nexus, a new Atari Lynx game. Ooh, I got a triple, so that might be Ancient been. World. Debuting at Portland Retro Gaming Expo next week and available in the Atari H store in November. Uh, what is Odin Nexus? Odin Nexus is a brand new shoot 'em up for the Atari Lynx featuring fantastic <sighs> pixel art, huge bosses, it. swarm of terrific enemies, and frenetic arcade action. Oh, oh yeah, I saw his same mistake. This is the 31st century game. Help Odin Exus, oh, the legendary oh. space warrior, in his journey back home uh, against the Electro Gods and their Mecha Titus. I'll take it. Okay, I'll do one more and then yeah. I'll, and then I'll yeah. uh, let you, the, you find yeah. it off. Yorgi's Castle says it almost looks like a PC Engine game. Yeah, very yeah. PC Engine ish. Because, yeah, your skill level in these kinds of games is higher than uh, mine. I try. You'll get farther <laughs> you than me. You did pretty good. You made Not it to too the second bad. level. I just um, don't have as much practice, but it's fun because it's like even because I don't have as much practice, even just like getting one or two shots, I get better. At, you know, <laughs> yes. what I mean? newbie gains. <laughs> oh yeah, second the second go around is either way worse uh, because you you relied on beginner's luck, uh, or the second round is way better. See, I shouldn't have said anything and just let it happen. I know. I'm, now, I'm like, I'm like, now you built I, it up. I'm like, I got this nailed. I'm kind of like an expert now. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm pretty good. I just ask anyone. I just needed I just needed one shot and then perfect. Uh, Gamma Dev says, wasn't there some 80s cartoon that was set in the future in outer space about the Greek mythology? Wasn't it one of the big 80s cartoons? But I don't think I imagine it. Wasn't that Hercules? Or no, I think I'm mixing up um, Rocket Robin Hood and good, Hercules. It's a good point. I don't recall. I mean, I know that there's... The thing about Greek mythology type stuff is it's like every... Every, there's like there it's everywhere you know? yeah and there's also roman mythology and they borrowed from greek and it's and it kind of gets mixed up yeah, between like, the two it's like the beginning of oppenheimer they're just like prometheus <laughs> you know like it's everywhere yeah oh you only have the pea shooter oh no i didn't get any power-ups i okay. did but i kind of they didn't do exactly the same like oh like i don't know like i have like a laser thing uh, we need Rocket Robin Hood video game. There you go. Oh, dude. Will I get that license? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you talk to for that. That's an ancient cartoon. Okay, okay, okay. Triple shot. Triple shot business. Now it's time to dominate. But this, there's almost oh, yeah, a feeling, that. there's almost a feeling once you get a power up where you're like, don't fuck it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love spread shots in games. You know what They're I mean? I'm kind of like, oh, I don't want to. I, I don't just got the upgrade at now, all. Now, please don't die. Please yes. don't die. Because that's the thing. As soon as you get the OP power up, the like the way of the game is. Oh, oh, I got what? You oh, I think I had a that? shield. Oh, that's why. I'm like that really, was a terrific really hit. I mean, that was just like that was, that was a bad gameplay. 
Yeah, do not collect their um, uh, shots. Yeah, no, that's, do not not, get that's bonus the opposite points. of what needs to happen. Um, they, said, they said, why you shoot him up? We don't pretend to compete with the Divine Zaku. But we thought we could propose a different uh, visceral I can, and dynamic. I pretend to compete with the Divine Zaku. I'm just don't pretend. You... <laughs> don't even pretend. Don't even try. I don't do. Pretend. Yeah, Zaku is... No, I did take a look at Zaku and I'm like, oh my god, what a great shooter. Um, no, I don't even know what Zaku is. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I've never actually played it. I've just looked at it. So, But it's not homebrew, so I'm not allowed to play it. Okay. No, there's nothing happening here except homebrew. That's right. Very seldom. Oh, I, I just saw for the first time that there's actually a, a like I a, love that like too. a like a like a health health meter. I, yes. d I don't think it's necessary for all bosses. It's nice because then you know. Okay, now I got to really it's make nice sure little, I get it. Uh, quality of life. It is. Well, QOL. So right uh, the controls: A shoot, B speed up, which you have been fine without doing. Uh, option one, cycle through the weapons. Option two, su switch music on and off. Uh, pause, pause the game and shows the score. Ooh, I'm seeing why the missiles would be nice. Because yeah. now these guys are taking more hits. Yeah, and so like, hopefully you'll get that soon. But I gotta kill something to get it. Is that it? Oh, whoa, is that the... I think it is, right? Yeah, don't rush it, don't rush That's it. That's the thing, I just got these... Oh, oh. short-lived. Okay, I'm definitely feeling where the uh, power... That's your first death? Yeah. Oh my god, it's I'm doing way better. But I'm, I'm feeling where the, the difficulty level steps up, right? Like, this oh, is much, yeah. much more challenging. So many hits. Because we have multiple hits, we've got much more sporadic movement. Yeah, like... Yeah, you gotta watch their pattern. Rocket Robin was made in Canada. Your tax dollars at work. So it might be a cheap license. Maybe. The game, the rights might also be held by mature animator Ralph Abashti. I was new to this Canadian animation. Oh. Yeah, you can kind of tell it was a Canadian animation. It was cheap. It sucks made. that like a lot of like the sign of Canadian content is it kind of sucks. I hate that <laughs> reputation. <laughs> like no. I mean, they're We're... really nice, but their movies and TV shows and cartoons are. <laughs> Everything oh, gets yeah. made here, but it doesn't get stamped Canadian. That's right. It's it's kind of sad. Oh, you're. This might be it. I mean, I'm just struggling. I'm just struggling with this level. I, I oh, think this might be. This have. might be my my brick wall. I would play very defensively. Let's say now. And you'd think I'd learn from the four times I did this. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. See there, I just. Yeah, I they just used... hit it just because I was like, my eyes were on some other stuff. They used to play Spider-Man and Rocket Robin Hood back to back here in the morning. And you were like, the backgrounds are the same. Yeah. Uh, so it's like they heavily uh, borrowed from uh, each other. And they had, um, in Rocket Robin Hood, they had interstitials. Like they just played this like little cartoon. But it'd be the same one every oh, episode. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, how to fill up. Five That's also minutes. the joke of like those like Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon type stuff. Yeah. Is they have like moments where like this is the section where they transform into their superhero thing, but it's like <laughs> the same animation, oh, and they have yeah. one for all of them, like early padded animation stuff. Same with Dragon Ball Z, like the kind of like he's where he like powers up, and it's the same shit. <laughs> yeah, it's it is like I mean, it's it makes saving it easier, like cheaper, but... saves the animation, but. Right? Kids don't. Well, kids kind of. But don't. but what's interesting though is like as kids, your it goes the other way because that repetition is nice for kids because yes. there's a sense of like, oh yeah, this is that scene that I really like. I get to see it again. Meanwhile, the producers so, are like, yeah, save that money. They're like, thank God. <laughs> they don't care. Ah, oh, miss one hundred percent. There's definitely some good Canadian content for sure. It's too bad that the joke and assumption is that it's just lame and well, inoffensive. And... What I do find is that's interesting about like, it's not all Canadian content, but it is on some level, a lot of it, where like a lot of it's funded by the Canadian government. And then there's this question of the budget. It, of it being like a cultural um, representation, being important yeah. that it's sort of like, because if the government is funding content, it's this question of like, is this, is this culturally contributing to Canada? Yeah. Which is like in America, it's like, it's not, a, it's and like, I, it's and like I, is, will this make money? Yeah. <laughs> That's and the I, only... And I've tried to sell things to like Canadian broadcasters or Canadian distributors and they're like, well, where's the Canadian angle? And I'm like, uh, 
it appeals to everyone? It's like, nope, it's gotta be Canadian. Yeah. Super Canadian. Where does it take place in the prairies? Does it take place in Vancouver? And and to be like, fair, it oh, makes sense because it's it's taxpayer money, right? Yeah. In comparison to say the states where it's like, it's well like, this is private. Prof- all profits so yeah. so much easier to sell to american uh companies which is sad and it's not like um uh canada doesn't have access to private funding as well it's oh just, yeah it's, it's just not as big it's not as big it's just interesting to think of like the public. reputation that's the problem yeah and it's just it is that different question so as a result you can see some funny Canadian content and you're like mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's also interesting to think of like what in like 1994 was regarded as contributing positively <laughs> Canadian culture <laughs> yeah it, it is very interesting okay there's a question for James oh are you usually buying games with PRG <sighs> I in the past yes um I'm kind of full up to my ears in games now. I bought like kind of all the games that I've wanted for each of the systems. Um, so if the game, the games I'd be buying would be new games, they'd be homebrew games. Um, because the uh, the games that I still do like want on uh, older systems, um, they're either too hard to find or they're too expensive or both. Yeah. Um, so it's really hard to buy those. I'm like, uh, do I want to drop two hundred dollars on one game oh, that I might you got some play a little life. bit? Yeah, I need to build it up. You're entering into to this level with a, with a solid, solid game. Oh. But you see, all of a sudden, the like the spike in difficulty oh, is it's real. Huge spike in. Well, I couldn't even get past this first one. I bet you, you will. Um, no, I do need this this power up. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see. Like these fish. They take they take quite a bit yeah, of once shots. You, but like the thing you're better at with these games and I don't think about is you're good at identifying the pattern. And that's I forget what these games are all And I forget about. that that's actually the tactic because sometimes I'll just feel like I'll be like kind of all start, over the place. Yeah, I just don't yeah. play these games as much. And then like even you being like, oh, the pattern. I was thinking about that, and I was like, oh, of course, yeah. And then watching you play, it's. But when you're in the middle of it, sometimes you're just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're just trying to like get through but it. There's you know? a language to each game, right? And if you're familiar with um, MMOs, RPGs, shooters. Um, platformers, you'll know the language just because you've played it so much. Yeah. Like, I'm sure there's genres of game, like first-person shooters. Like, if you're an expert at first-person shooters, you can translate those skills over to a brand new one you've never even touched right. before, right? Yeah, you just immediately know the rules and kind of, like, the, the controls and these yeah. kinds of things. And... Oh, actually, I did get hit. Damn it. But I think Blossom. you had the shield, and that, that's really solid. Yeah, it's cool. This is a tough level. Yeah, it's it, it I'm ramped excited. up quite a bit. Ooh, yeah, like, but that's good, good dodging of the. Because you got to know each each enemy has its own patterns of shots, even. Where'd that come from? Yeah, it's cool. I'm now that I'm seeing there are spots. I guess it's the case with these bullet hell type games, Damn right? It. That you have to find this, know the spot on the screen where you're like avoiding. The evasion yes. spot. It's your first life, though. Yeah, and, and I power down. But I, I have a triple shot, oh, but it's yeah. not as powerful. Lord Kraken was like, "There's a dead spot if you want to avoid the fish," and, and this, this awesome. I think it's awesome. I found it. it. Oh my god. Yeah, right here is pretty good because you get a good uh, shot at them while avoiding them. You can also go under them, but um, don't ever be in a rush to get power ups in these games. You will kill yourself for power ups. Yeah, that's the thing. I... So bad. They yeah. tempt you with. It's not powers. worth it. Oh, never worth it. Always have oh, that see, extra life. It almost happened to to you. What happened to me a few times where someone goes past the screen and you're focused on the thing before, and you go back to evade yeah. and smash into the thing. Because it's what I noticed too is that they'll often hover kind of in the bottom left yeah. when you go past them, so it's easy to like look at this. A huge enemy. Oh my god. So nice. This is like a phoenix. Let's get out the good. This is crazy. No, no it, minor uh, what hits it? enemies. I think it's around the head as well. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be like oh, Thank you for following somebody. That's what it means. I didn't see that. Uh, Dr. Ludos, welcome. Dr. Ludo, that's the what up, um, dude? developer for the second game, Growing Ties Deluxe, that we're going to be playing. Oh, that's awesome. Third world. In a world. One Where man. you shoot everything. Oh my god, it's raining down. During the oh apocalypse. my god. <laughs> It rains down fire. With 
Persephone <laughs> waiting on the lines. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Do you have the guts, the fire? Oh, what? What the hell? That was. Uh, <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a good. That was a solid positioning. Oh, a yeah. Solid spot. Very solid spot. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa no, no, not like Back this. to the triple shooters. Uh -oh. In a world where edibles are legal. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> Actually, they are legal. They are uh, in, uh, in Canada in, land. In, in Canada. See, in we might Canada. not have the best content. <laughs> we don't have but guns, but we got edibles. And I'll tell you what, I'm here for it. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll trade that anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so I had um, uh, an unfortunate thing happen. Oh no, uh, speaking of uh, What was no. it? Uh, yesterday, no, the day before. Um, and oh, God. I had this thing no. where like, on my birthday or around my birthday week, yeah, I just have had this crazy too. shit always happens to me oh, that no. like reminds me of like the mortality and like fragility of life. Again? No, it didn't. <laughs> so I was, I was, sitting just blissfully happy and i bit i was biting my nails and all of a sudden i just go and i look and what? half of my tooth broke off that must have been weak beforehand okay you, there's no way you broke your tooth on your nail well this is the thing is i i, I it was like because you know like a tooth Ow. has sort of two sides to yes. it and i think what had happened was it had worn down and then one it was just the leverage just cracked it but it's psychologically so devastating it oh. happened at 11 p.m oh of course and there was just like this like and this is just true human psychology oh. i just basically sat there and i was like well i'll just live with this forever now so <laughs> broken tooth i'm like i just oh well you know i was like well i guess what's the worst that can happen and i like this is my fate and then within five minutes i was like no you're gonna deal with it take like, care of it like yeah. googled and they're like this is regarded as like a dentistry emergency this is what oh, they were what? saying online because they're like you can very easily lose your tooth and also if you're biting into things with a broken tooth it's just oh, gonna like yeah. it's gonna potentially start to crack so a nerve worse and but the problem is is my front tooth so my tongue was resting on the jagged edges of, the, of my oh. like half broken tooth so, so that's your front which tooth was it? uh the bottom front so i had the oh. worst sleep in the world oh and then God. like i phoned the dentist that opened at like 7 a.m and managed to get in and uh, what was crazy was that they were like oh we'll see you at like 3 p.m and then by the like by the morning they phoned me back and was like no we can get you in at like 10. And so I went in and like, and what was beautiful is I didn't even need to get frozen. They just built it up. Oh, and nice. and it was just like this moment where I was like, there was enough of the tooth left that they could, hundred uh, percent, get it going again. And but it was that thing where they were like, um, uh, they, they 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 just they just basically went like, like how like how did this happen? <laughs> Uh, biting my nails and they were and they looked at it and they're like yeah this shouldn't happen until you're about in your 50s <laughs> oh no <laughs> that's like, this is not what you want to hear that's not that's, a good sign that's not what you want to hear so i uh i i i have to say my like Power up my awareness of just the you know fragility of mortality. life and all this business but i but i was also like really feeling like way more like conscious of like what i'm eating and Oh no, oh. it has begun. It has begun. It was just like one moment oh, no. I was blissfully like enjoying a birthday cake. And I then, live forever. And then the next day you're like, find your truth like, breaks off. You're like, oh, no, not I like this. I see the, uh, the synchronicity of it all. The, oh God. Oh. Whoa, that was some crazy evasion. I should have just stayed at the top, but I panicked. Oh yeah. no, this is where I die. Yeah. No. Well, wait, this looks like we're in Hades, man. Yep. Like, look at this. That was the title. Is this is fourth world? Fourth, Maybe fifth? Fourth out of seven? I think it's fourth. Oh my god. Oh, is it a boss already? Nice. Mid boss. Mid boss. Mid boss. With my pea shooter. Oh my god. Um, oh, oh, stay back, stay back. Yeah, and then also like classic dentist stuff, like just explaining to you all the options, and they all sound like fucking terrifying. Oh, like god. we just grind your tooth down and then like see tap the something. bullets. The guy's over top of them. Uh, <laughs> give it another go. You'll, you'll see oh it. my god, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, why not? And then we can move on to the next one. Um, they said the audio volume's been trending down. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Hades fits. Oh, do I get to put in my name? Nope. Oh, Odin Access. Okay, we'll do one more go through it. Yeah, that's the way. But uh, was that level four? I, I'm not I just sure. Gotta... I'll count them this time. It'll, yeah. I'll pay. I'm pretty sure it was. 
But yeah, but I just did like such thankful for modern medicine. Like imagine we were just oh, born yeah. in like 1840 and you're just like, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's that's your lot. <laughs> Guess what? You you're... have a trip to it. And you're in pain constantly forever. Yeah. Um, I've chipped my teeth twice. One was extracting the inner core of a metal pen uh, and chipped the middle of my tooth. That makes sense. Tooth that feels tooth. like an avoidable one. Oh, yeah, it was stupid. That's definitely one where you're like, ah, okay. Chipped the middle of my front top tooth. Um, and not another one, I was just eating a sandwich. And it was a very, you know, whole grain bread yeah. and apparently they included a bonus rock in there or a really really hard piece of grain thanks guys uh, for the... thanks so i had to and and i think both times they just kind of ground down the two because it was very minor chip ah oh, that makes sense so they kind of made it even so it was very very lucky yeah you, you didn't have a split <laughs> no luckily they, not dude when they did the x-rays oh, they were on, like give me that they no. were like <laughs> They're like these are a few. Mi- they said it was a few millimeters away from the nerve. Oh So they God. were like, they were like, that would be emergency. They're like very lucky kid. Like, the good thing is it it was I guess an emergency, so you could get it seen right away and get it right. dealt with. And so it was it was bad, but not like I'm bleeding out my mouth bad. Hundred percent. And enough I, to be. And they didn't need to freeze me, which meant that I could just go right back to work. Oh, like it was so it's good. but it's crazy that like the worst case scenario or what felt like the worst case scenario happened, and then by like 11 a.m. The next day i'm like oh I'm fine. Fine. yeah but also the other sad thing they told me was they're just like they're like yeah like just so you know like a filling is not as strong as a tooth so like oh. you cannot like you can't eat apples anymore they're like avoid like caramel thing what yeah. because they're like they're like if you it'll break off if oh, you like because no. they're like this is not like they're like there's nothing better than a tooth <laughs> and wow. which was basically like you fucked up <laughs> yeah it's over for you. <laughs> Which is like, you can do it, obviously, but yeah. it is that thing where you're like, so now I have this, like, oh, no. this compromised tooth in my mouth, and I'm like... Uh, oh, that you always have I, to be thinking of. Which is fine, but it's just, it was just like, oh, it really was like... power up from oh. the... Okay. But you see how, like, it's better for bosses, but, like, for... Yeah, for this... Because yeah. it falls a little bit. Yep, level four. Thank you, Lord Kraken. He said one, bread is one of the main cho- tooth chippers out there, is what brought him. Oh, Zen. really? That's yeah. crazy. Also, just like psychologically, man, there's something about being in the dentist like that hurting no. like <laughs> sounds. I was yeah. like, I want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, the, the smell of grinded teeth. So, Luckily, yeah. I still have all my teeth. So, and no uh, no fillings. Never, ever, never any cavities. Oh, see, that's great news, man. My my mom was a dental hygienist, so oh, I don't so know you, if that factored in. That's so. hugely, man. You got some good like advice <laughs> and and DNA. I'm not gonna put it all on. Also, diet people... as well, man. Like actually, like yeah, it does factor in quite a bit what you what you eat. It's a uh, whole. It's like anything in life. It's holistic. It's, <laughs> it is. It's everything. It's a whole. It's a number of factors rather than one. So yeah, that's what that was my my great thing that happened to me yesterday. Was, thing that got me going to the dentist regularly. Cast away. away. It's, Dental prop. Dude, you're oh so. Did the castaway scene? That's oh. a brutal scene. Oh my god. Hey, Atari, are you here to mess me, mess up my game? But it's interesting how, like, in life, you can sort of be ignorant to things, not like intentionally, but yeah. then like really realize you're like, oh wow, like now I've entered out of the stage of being like not thinking about this thing that now I'm yes. gonna. Um, I could I could just like pretend to ignore it. God like, damn it! Like that first instinct of like, oh, it's fine. I'll I just. Blame the cat. But like, yeah. this is just life now. I'll just drink <laughs> me the broken tooth. <laughs> yep. Um, I I've never broken a bone, so probably people who've broken bones are very conscious of how they broke their bone, and they are more careful of that. Oh my God. You hear this definitely from motorcyclists. Like, the way a motorcyclist arrive before they get in a major crash and after is, like, fundamentally different. Oh, I bet. And and what they wear. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I wear the protective suit now. And, and especially how they drive, right? Like, just, oh, like, yeah. just, like, a lot of, like, different things. Just growing up stuff, man. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Welcome to getting a little bit older. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, no, why yeah. did I do that? Yeah, so you did it. They, they, they uh, debated you. This is yeah. what happened. This is not uh, a better run. This is a worse run. Well, I think the other thing was, is the other run you had 
like you got two extra lives yeah. maintain those right up until you really needed them and i got all the power-ups really early oh yeah just stay at that level done oh <laughs> one and done perfect oh i just need some power-ups my pea shooter is yes. so sad oh no what's nice is that this spot you're not only safe but you're murdering them Oh, but the, you can see they shoot uh, like is, a thing right at that, that spot. Damn. No, something else. Like who's shooting that? Who's it's shooting? to like some it's, off-screen. It's entity. to discourage you from uh, the, camping. Because this is the perfect oh, spot, is that a camping? right? Camping, an anti-camping shot. It's the exact. Because... It is. Oh, very smart. Very cool. That makes sense. Yeah, you don't want you don't want your player to be camping at a spot that. They're completely safe in. Yeah. And it doesn't shoot unless you are static for a while. Interesting. I bet it's based on, like, no joystick movement rather yeah. than positioning. That makes sense. Now that we're yeah. look looking at it, that's more just, like, anti-camping. Yeah. Sometimes when you figure too much out about a game, you actually get worse at the game because you're thinking about too many things. Yeah, you got to find this like, zen state. Anti-camper weapon. Yeah, figured that out. Castor, he says there's, there's a movie with Dustin Hoffman and Old Nazi Doctor, which is probably worse. Oh, boy. Yeah, I just, I can't say I'm like a fan of The Dentist, but I don't think that's a really a controversial thing. <laughs> it's pretty common. I'm, I'm fine with The Dentist. But, um, what's weird is like... I haven't had bad experiences, probably. But I wanted to hug this guy, though, <laughs> afterwards. For fixing, fixing But it's you crazy. Up. You're like, I don't understand how they do it. They put in, like, some stuff injecting a thing, and then, like, mm -hmm. and, like, within, like, 15 minutes, they're, like, done, new tooth. Like, this is literal sorcery. Like, I don't oh, understand. Yeah. You know, like, this is crazy. It's also, it's skill. It's also, like, modern medicine. It also made me think a lot about, like, imagine just being around in, like, I don't know, 1910 when they're, like, Here's... experimental medicine. Like, they're just yeah. experimenting. They're like, we found this thing called, like... <laughs> here's your, here's your um, uh, animal tooth for your dentures. <laughs> That's right. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> just like, and just, to, you know, like, the fact that we live in a time where, like, people figured out the exact drug to take that'll just, like, knock you out for, like, major oh, surgeries. Oh, that was <laughs> massive. The two massive things in um, like, modern medicine oh. is um, washing your hands <laughs> before doing operations and being able to be knocked out. Yeah, like, Anesthetics is just so important. Like, here, bite down on this while we saw your leg off. Uh, thanks. That's great. Or they would just get drunk, which would make their blood thin, which would be even worse. Yeah, and also just a crazy vibe. Just oh, God. <laughs> just to be like, here's like five shots of whiskey. <laughs> We're going to saw your leg off. Like, yeah. I'm just like, That's I was... the best we got. The fact that I just like can like Google like the best dentist, or like not the best, but Google be like, this one's the highest rated, walk three blocks. And then oh, like God. within 12 hours, I also thought like with like those kinds of things like setting is everything like imagine you're in the middle of a backpacking trip or you're like oh. you're on a trip in thailand you know oh. what i mean like there's just so many scenarios where you're like oh look at this block. oh we haven't been have i not been to this guy uh, we never fought this guy oh no i think or or, or maybe we, i did very i think you short did but you just time. blasted through with your missiles oh just, that's <laughs> why we didn't even recognize it with the triple you yeah, have dental work before numbing like see these are these are the things man i just feel very grateful for a lot of things oh yeah <laughs> modern so everything of, like thank you this is also where it's so funny with all this like primal living you're like oh, well i maybe but <laughs> <laughs> level I like, four i like the numbing i don't know, uh, the numbing I don't know if i want hades this is where i got yeah this spanked. is this is Last truly time. like Hell now. Well, it's cool, these designs of characters it's here. Gorgeous. Like, this, like, red the backgrounds, the, the the enemy design, the boss design, so good. I, it, it's got a kind of Castlevania feel to me, like the yes. design, you know what I mean? Like these kind of... Very like, much Like those, so. those, those stupid heads that everyone knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, the Medusa heads. Oh, terrible. Oh, the Medusa heads. It's Castlevanian space. That is. NES um, Castlevania game is so fun. Oh my god. That's it's one a master. Like, just a great game. No, why no. again? No. Well, at least I guess I got the triple shooter. Still. You did, and you got two lives left, and yeah. and also it's cool you got back here. Yep. If you're seeing tearing 
um, on the stream from the links, which it's not really showing up here. You might see it in Growing Ties because of the movement, the type of movement there. God. It's because the links has variable frame rates. Interesting. So it doesn't translate perfectly to the setup I have because I'd have to probably have a very advanced um, um, system where a very... Oh, is it going to disappear? It is. Oh, it's already gone. Bastards. Oh! Death. Okay, what's his deal? So just do a pattern here. He's like the mouth, almost. I think the problem last time is I can't see the enemy bullets when Mr. Death is on the screen. Right there. Like see? I can't see it. Yeah, you almost simultaneously oh have God. to deal with him, but also the small guys for this one. Because he's Dude. not going to kill you, the small guys will. God. This is a nightmare. And we don't, have, we don't know how long his health is. Oh, you oh, no. doing better than I. No! Oh, oh my god, what oh, happened there? Oh, dude, that's a fucking... Oh, oh. oh! But no, but I don't know how. This is bullet hell now, dude. Oh my god. <sighs> now back to pea shooter. Oh, I'm so dead. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, oh, no, triple. Uh -oh, triple. Okay, good. In all honesty... Triple's good for this. Part. For this, for... I'd rather take triple in this and Seems use triple a... in a boss than to have... But I'll take the, like I'll take the strong games, shot. There's though. a uh, clear speed meta and a boss meta. <laughs> yes. And you can change weapons, it's just that it's on the links and I'm not playing directly on the links. Yeah, you. So I'm, I'm fine with that. But there is an option to change weapons. So you can technically. I pressed them and it didn't seem to change. I don't know what that did, but. I think so my did buttons some, are a bit sticky. I think it did some good stuff. This really, truly is 80s. Oh, yeah. What is it about, like, a volcano flaming that just, just like, connotes evil fuckers? You know what I mean? Like, you think of, like, Sauron. Or, there's something no. about a volcano that's, like, there's not nice people at a volcano. No, it never is. <laughs> you never go to the volcano and it's like, The oh, princess <laughs> lives in the volcano. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, no. Well, she's been captured by the demonic entity. Who... And taken to a grass field. Yeah. <laughs> no, never, never nice uh, areas where the bad guys are. Okay, we at least got a, a, a bar this time, which is good. Oh, holy cow. Okay. That's, I'd rather have this than... Oh, where do I have to shoot him? I think the mouth, that's ah. what seems to be the case. Shut your mouth hole. Evasion build. Yeah, he has kind of like a burst. Yeah. You're doing better than I do, though, man. Well, this is much easier than um, the enemies shooting and the bullets going and underneath. we just beat Hades? What are we at now? Oh, he says Hades is... Bef this is before this Hades. Is before Hades? No! Okay. Okay, ready? what's this? What's this? Let's find out. Let's this find is... Out. Sorceress. Oh, level five. Okay, and five out of seven. Five out of seven and a thousand points, dude. He did send me some cheat codes. There we but go. But I haven't had to use them yet. You know what? Let's... let's One maybe, life! Let's, oh, boy. Let's see how we do in, 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 in yep. Sorceress and... But no, I won't use the cheat codes. I already made it to level five. Look at this. Now this is kind of like a tranquil nice. nice. Oh, got some, some more dragonflies. Just ended like the fey. Yeah. <laughs> the, the favors. Very nice. Oh yeah, so Love I've been it. playing um, BG3. Ah, when I was sick, nice. I, I got to like... Um, so good. Because I, I, I got knocked out. I actually missed a week of work. I just got this like infection. And, oh no. And, um, which is why I had to miss the show last time. Right. Um, and I was out for a bit. Um, and But I got to play some Baldur's Gate. It was so good. Really, really. It's so good. It's just like implementation of D and D. It's like, how can it be any better than this? Yeah. And the like, acting and voice work is unbelievable. Probably best in any game I've ever heard or seen. And it's an old school game. It's like it's actually like written, and it's like there's yeah. sort of like it's not. It's kind of like it's not scaled to you. So like it's got it's got all the things that I want from a game. Like yes. I want to be able to like. It's, it's so deep as well, and it's just like huge it's options. The branching is is incredible like you can play the game 10 times and still not see everything the same yeah and like in your party oh, god damn it and your kind of party composition is sort oh, of big and each one has their own yeah i've been like really really enjoying it i, I beat act two Ooh, he comes right to me and so damn now it. i'm on act three really you went hardcore into it 
Yeah, I think I'm about 80 hours in. Yeah, that's um, about right. I which think Tanya's almost been back to. Yeah, and like oh, my geez, my my neighbors right. beat Act One in like 20 hours. Oh wow, but, that's pretty fast. But they just killed everybody. <laughs> just uh, fucked up like... all the druids. <laughs> just killed, just went in. They were oh, like, no. and then they were like, kill everyone. And they just cares? close all these storylines, and they're like, and you oh. can, you can do that. And but it, but what's interesting is that like <gasps> what's they have beyond like, the missiles. Oh, oh, is it a triple oh, missile, come on, come on, come on. please? Fireballs. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, look at their piercing. God. Oh, they go through. Oh no! Piercing. Why did I lose that? No. No. But yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it. Um, and it's cool because anyone who's played the game, you can then chat with them and find oh, out, yeah. like, because there's enough shared about the game that everyone's on the same page. But there's enough More difference that you can be like, oh, so like, did you do this? Or what's oh, your? I still have that good personal life. Or like, oh, I killed that person, or I missed that spot, or I didn't get that item, or like, oh, I can take out a whole line. Look at that! Oh, utter destruction! Piercing, dude. Fuck yes. Utter destruction. Oh yeah. And a shield, okay. No. Work. Okay. Things are feeling a little bit better. So oh, what is Tanya mass? playing oh, on the God. um on the console or on PC? Oh PC. We've yeah. switched to PC now. Yeah, same. I just my, my, my neighbors are doing console and it looks like a lot of work. Oh, uh well we do use um a controller for it. Oh really? And we found it really quick. Oh, and it's a very different um, control scheme, though. So you, it, you have to completely change your, the way you play. Yeah. But it's just so convenient, we found. Like, we started out on the keyboard and mouse, and it's like, okay, this is fine. And we went to controller, and we're just so used to controllers. That makes sense. For games. Yeah, it kind of, kind of feels like Oh, there's... I didn't even see what this is. This is underwater. Poseidon. Yeah, because it kind of feels like there's there's oh, pros colors. and cons to console versus PC, right? There like, is. And there isn't one that's better. Like, one does one thing better than the other. I mean, PC, you could just crank up the resolution and put as much money and power into your computers as you yeah. want, which we have done. And yeah. playing it on a 4K screen, and it's just, everything's cranked. We have a 4070. And also just the, the hotkeys, and like being able to yeah, just like have the toolbar, true. and you just click on like a thing. It's and very fast it's input. Much, and, then it's, and also like being able to like split up your party. Ah, I can't get it. No! No! Yeah, the splitting up the party. party and very conveniently position everyone and then have yeah. one person. So it's like there's there's more micromanagement of the potential on Huge, PC, yeah. but it's also not as streamlined, so it's kind of clunky at times. And like the yeah. camera is the one that's like difficult. Yeah, you have to get used to the camera in the game. I'm I'm used to it now, so um, I'm totally fine with the with the camera. And it's it's pretty pretty decent camera. Once I think it's I think it feels better on console, like the camera side of things. On, on like that. Cause oh, because you, you have the joysticks, right? For instance. Oh my god. But yeah, just, I would really enjoy that. Can you tell I like shoes. <laughs> no. Oh my god, it's so nerve wracking when it goes to the mini boss or boss because you start all of a sudden can't control your ship. Yeah, if you like RPGs, oh my god. Baldur's Gate 3 is the ultimate. Where'd he go? It truly Hello. is. And and I've I've said it a million times on the show, but like my all time one of my all time favorite games is BG one and two. I'm like such a like enjoyer of Oh I never played of, of those. They're sort of like they're beautiful like nineties um RPGs, which yep. are like a direct translation of advanced D and just like, but, last level. but they're old, right? Like, but here, what am I doing? I'm just telling this audience, I'm like, it's old. I'm always yeah. like, I'm always talking to people who are like, they're like, <laughs> like what are you? yeah, because for me, like Fallout One and Two, Baldur's Gate One and Two, and then yeah. um, Diablo Two, like those are my, those are my like nostalgia favorite games of all time, and they all have the isometric kind of like, mm. like feel to them, which is which is great. And any old school, new school tile style thing that can come, oh, all for it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Games are getting so much better now. Um, like we're in a huge renaissance of amazing first-person shooters and 
Yeah. Well, something that they did in their development cycle, I think it's Letharian Studios, yeah. Yeah. Um, is they did an early release of just Act 1 for almost a year. Yes. And had feedback from, like, Huge people. Huge testing. Which is cool because then it was spoilers but not, right? Because yeah. these people didn't know where the story was going to go. And you can really feel that the game, um, now that it's full release, it's a true full release. It mm. almost makes me think yeah. of, like, if you are going to do, because so many developers will do this where they'll actually release an incomplete game and then right. kind of like to the market and it's almost like if you're going to do an incomplete game do like one or two levels then and then we understand that this is like yeah rather than a whole game that's kind of like not that buggy all the way and then you kind of play the whole game and it's sort of you just played a shitty version of it <laughs> yes versus like kind of like a like a work in progress first act of a game i feel way more like um, you know, inclined to play it, you know? That's why I really like the Atari community because there's so much testing that goes on with these games. That's the first one I missed. I thought it was going to go right for me. Um, like, years of testing. And there's great beta testers like uh, Steve Ramirez. And um, so when you get the game on cartridge, it has that old school vibe. It's like, well, you get one chance to release a game. That's right. And it's gotten really lazy in the past, you know, 20 years with the internet and being able to update games. It's like, ah, we'll fix it later. We need the money now. It's like, okay. Oh, is this the boss? Oh. The ultimate boss? We're gonna have to shoot him. In his... Try the bottom where the where the yep. coming out. Yeah. His, uh, bottom I, region. Yeah, I have. A... Is that it? That's a super power weapon. Oh my god. <sighs> did, we, did we? You just did it. Yo, and she's got her, like, trident now. Yeah, oh. is her trident is returned. The trident has that returned. Me? The sun is setting. The beard. Who knew that you had a the kind long of... Hair? And there's, look, there's a, there's a cat. Oh, uh, you gotta have a cat. Look at this. We, Sprite is hanging out. Oh, nice. Sprite's in the game. Nice addition. Yeah, Sprite, <laughs> check it out, dude. You're here. Yeah, you're in the game. I love this little sunset over the ocean. Look that is an awesome it's game. It's a beautiful little game. Um, it's got great action graphics audio the bosses the power-ups um super super great also the kind of like um the, these i've noticed with these kinds of shooters it's almost like there's a spiraling effect that if you get the upgrades you've got the good equipment you've got yes. the levels you have the shield you can actually just like rip but then yeah. if you lose all that shit it's almost impossible to grind <laughs> yourself back that up at times is the big problem with shooters some of them when you die they disperse your uh, power up so you yeah. have to collect them again it's hard but you can collect them again this one's good it only goes down one yeah that's a nice balance i like that where it's like okay you do get punished but not here's your pea shooter you're gonna die yeah. <laughs> good luck in hades <laughs> <laughs> yep um, super awesome game, Lord Kraken. Uh, this is gonna do really well. Oh, yeah, man. And people it, are gonna like would this. you say that that sort of level that you died on was the hardest moment in the game? Or do you think the stuff later was maybe more challenging, but it might have been like, because it seemed like that moment, like that fight where they're like hiding yes. all these things and you're that like. That is the hardest boss. Like, yeah, because like. Because of the bullets are on the different plane. And they're going diagonally and vertically and potentially going through the guy, or like you can't even see where where they are that was the hardest hardest level which is so weird because i just assumed that that it would just get harder and harder and harder oh. whoa, whoa full screen this. graphics look, look shadow my, hearts look at my mane game. oh it's much longer than what i have <laughs> <laughs> i'm wearing some uh, orange jumpsuit nice you're really great graphics really great graphics plur plur one yeah Dude, player one uh and uh, Lord Kraken says, you just unlocked the hard mode, actually. Seems a bit too easy for the James of the world. Uh, well, versus I couldn't get past level two, so, so this just is... letting you know. There's also a skill check that oh, needs to happen. Hard. Try a hard. Do it. Run, yes. it, run it real quick. We gotta show we gotta it. Do, now that we gotta I do made it. it there. You earned it. You unlocked so, it. Okay, we'll see how much harder this is. Yeah, hopefully it's a lot harder. Yeah. Because... <sighs> Three lives. We're at the skill like I am. Yeah, when, you, when you, an expert. Uh... So, what differentiates the hard mode from the easy mode? Is it faster bullets, more enemies, faster it, enemy it bullets? It feels a little faster. It does am feel am faster. I like? Am I kind of wrong with that assumption? No, it it feels like everything's moving faster. Oh, I actually didn't even use the speed up button, <laughs> the whole game. Yeah. 
So it's not necessary. Got yourself a shield, which is good. Nice. Actually, this is the power up circuit. Extra life. Extra life. Okay, okay, okay. This is where that RNG, like, if someone yeah. were playing this game, they're like, didn't get the power ups that on the first, first level. That first game I played, I was like, yeah, you get 10 men and all the power ups, but then I got my ass kicked on one of the levels. It's not a lot harder because we're in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the poor people of 2023, they're used to, like, checkpoints every two seconds. You just save and reload. Save, reload. Yeah, what is it called? Save scumming? That's right. Yeah, there's a bit of, a bit of save scumming in uh, Baldur's Gate Oh, 3. it's, dude, the Baldur's Gate... It's almost essential. Well, the other thing is, is that in OG Baldur's Gate, if one of your party members died, that was it. They're dead forever. Yeah. <gasps> so, like, you would definitely uh... save scum because you'd be like, well, I cannot beat this game with, like, So no resurrection members. scroll. You, you later, later, later in the game, a cleric can unlock an ability to do it, but okay. it's not inherently, you're not given that for like a really long time. They so, probably did it in this one because of the storylines. They're like, well, you'll miss out on a ton of story well, if that person's dead. That's, that it, but what's also the case is that um, Advanced D&D, which was the basis of um, of the original Baldur's Gates, is the is the tabletop system that's just way harsher. And oh, this one okay. is is based off of 5e, which is like way it just has padding for the for the deaths, have death saves and resurrections and those things, yeah. which is just like a more contemporary system of D&D, and also a completely different way of approaching D&D yeah. um, as like a as a system. Yeah, I, I do appreciate being able to resurrect the people, but with a little bit of effort and a little bit of cost. I think it should cost more from that guy to resurrect somebody. It's like, yeah. oh, that's not much. Yeah. Sure, I'll resurrect them. <laughs> but mostly I just do save scumming. Because when I die, I die bad. Like, the whole troop is dead. Yeah. It's usually not one person. It's like, oh, I've got a scroll. It's, the, it's the Baldur's Gate way, man. Yeah. So this is uh, minorly harder. Can you read off what the difference is? I think you posted it. You start with three lives instead of five. You lose all your weapons when you get hit, and the oh waves boy. come faster. All your weapons. Okay, so that's, that's harder. That's actually like that's the like, that's hard level. Yeah, that's that's the hard mode. Right? The three lives. Okay, we you can take it. You could probably take that. Um, I mean, we can, but also you did kind of need all your lives. Last honestly, time I did. So. That one boss resembles a Johnny Quest monster. I haven't seen enough of that cartoon. Um, so I will stop after this boss. Cool. I just want to kind of get a gauge yeah, cool for the to, difficulty. Cool to get the feel of it. Yeah. Comes the empty cheat. Yeah. So the waves, they're all... Okay. That's fine. I'm not playing seriously now. Anymore. But, that, but that's another yeah. sign that it's tougher enemies, it, right? Yeah, they seem to come like they're more close together like the enemies they they're crowded a bit and more. because they're moving faster i think that like what's it, what was happening is your timing was for the last one but they're yes. zooming quicker so like are. what would have uh, what would have gotten them before now yeah i don't have that breathing room anymore yeah and then you don't even have your weapons anymore like that's the Down where they're zero that's where it really is the spiraling kind of effect where you almost need to just like beat it yep um amazing and it's great that there's a hard mode that's a great addition for those people and i obviously it doesn't save so you have to beat easy again each time so I when you make it to hard mode take advantage of it try and enjoy the hard mode. try and beat it okay cool, let's pop over to the next one it's on the screen nope okay Ooh. let's uh don't boot it up just yes I'll, I'll hit the folder though and... yeah Let's so what growing ties Hell yeah. growing ties a very unique game um this is by uh dr ludos this is an exclusive look at the final version we have played this game on the show before okay, very cool. briefly i think as a part of a compilation of something a bunch of links games all at once um <clears throat> uh carl forehand songbird uh who's also a distributor songbird um did the music and william thorpe dimming of lights Ooh. um bit jag uh did the packaging art um it's a 256k cart it's part of uh, growing ties deluxe compilation so we'll be playing three other mini games after this as well cool uh and this be sold to prge so load it up and, yep. uh, top one yeah 
Growing Ties Deluxe. Press button. Music by Songbird Productions. Again, okay, so this one gentleman on the right who has a long tie is very happy. And this yeah. gentleman on the left who only has a short tie. See, his tie doesn't fit very well. It's like See, very I, I, is badly this, is cut. This foreshadowing? Is this foreshadowing? Is this what I'm seeing? So you gotta cut the ties to the right length of the shirt. If you cut it too short, every every um, distance away from the perfect height, you get less points. So you can cut it long, or you can cut it short, but you don't want to be too far away from perfect. And if it's the uh, former president of the United States, just it's make it go. Way, like, goes down to your leg. Yeah, some, <laughs> some person comes with a blonde quaff. Just, just let it go. Just the longest of ties. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kirk Cameron and Michael J. Fox in this game. Yeah, it's got that font. It's uh, in between growing pains and family ties. And we're in a rustic <laughs> uh, cabin, it feels like. Yes. I think those are shelves with things in them. You're oh. like in a wood panel um, oh. tie shop. So we're in a high-end... Uh, oh, yeah. Very high-end establishment. It's very busy. It's very high popular. High-end uh, haberdashery. <laughs> That's <so> right. <laughs> so one button makes the ties grow. The other button uh, cuts the ties. Your guy moves back and forth automatically. Uh, and then you just have to press the cut at the right point. Okay, so you'll get you'll get the hang of it. Let's try so let's look. So there's level select, there's survival, and there's bonus games. We'll get into the bonus games. I think later. we just start game. Yeah, we'll start just games see, first. See, see, jump see right into it. Grow a tie, cut the tie. Perfect size ties match the height of the patron shirt. Target score is 50 right now. There you go. Okay, let's check it out. Let's do it. So there's your tie making machine at the top. So you start growing. Press that. Let go. That's way too long. <laughs> but you let him learn. He'll hate it. Nah. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, friendo. Yep. Uh, and the Atari Age a PRG release announcement said everyone's dream is to have a tie that looks and fits perfectly. Is it? Is it I don't really? know. I hate ties. Oh, little, little, little off. I think the max is ten points. You got seven out of ten. No, no, you can take it relaxed. Oh, I don't think they leave. A bit more oh, of that. That's good. Oh, eight. Oh, a long. Oh, unhappy. Sorry, sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, sir. Um, sorry, gentlemen. Take control of the tie o matic and to select color, properly measure, and quickly cut perfect ties for your clients. <laughs> properly measure. <laughs> you do your best. Growing Tide Deluxe is a new Atari Lynx game by Dr. Ludos to be released oh. at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo 65 next 65 out of 50. There you go. I'm going to try the next level. Uh, now you have to get 120. So you only, so there's no time limit, but there is tie limits. So you only have so many customers. Sense. So it's actually, this is more of a game of precision. Yes. We're, we're, we're a, a quality. Oh, there you go. We're quality over quantity tie business is what we are. That's right. But you do have a lot of customers that come in. Oh, combos as well. So you get more points for... Um, do they leave? I don't know. I'm going to get our little guy real quick. Actually, I'm going to get this yeah. guy. Oh. oh, that was better. Oh, perfect. Ten. Nice. Hey, buddy. So other games Dr. Ludos has made... Uh, Fishing for Atari, which we'll be playing. Gift Catcher, which we'll be playing. Growing Ties Deluxe. Uh, Minigun Miner, which we played last episode. Super fun for the 2600. Sheep It Up for the 2600. Time Loop, which we'll be playing. And we've played before on the show. And he uh, makes games for other systems as well. Game Boy, SNES, Genesis, Neo Geo. That's a pretty rare one to make homebrew for. He's unhappy with that. Sorry, buddy. Makes him look taller. He feels self-conscious because that time makes him look taller than he actually is. Oh, I think you can you can just cut the ties without any penalty. That's good so if you mess up, oh, that could be a tactic. Yeah. So if you mess up on like that guy and you make it way too long, you can cut it and do it again. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Way okay. over. You're getting way better. Okay. Yeah. Super cute game. Okay. Wait. Some patrons want a specific tie color or no tie at all. What the fuck are you doing in the tie store then, man? <laughs> You're just browsing. He's like, I'm here. I don't, I don't want a tie. I just don't want... Don't give me any ties. So left okay, or right okay. to change the colors. You have to pay attention to okay. what colors they want. Let's find out. Um, 
so that one wants a green, so you got green going on. Ooh, nice. Oh, yes, that's fine. That's fine. You can miss. Perfect. Nice. Oh, green. You're already on green, so they really haven't... Oh, nice. Oh, that one wants an orange, so you gotta be careful. So you gotta change the color. There you go. Oh, she's a little bit long, but that's oh, that's good that she dropped it. Perfect. And I think... No! Okay. Oh. oh, you gotta change... Yeah, make sure you... Oh, it changes back to green automatically. Oh, nice. He's very happy with that one. And I think the ones that don't have a um, arrow are like, I'll take it, color tie. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. RC70 said, just came to check out the tie o at work. Yeah, the uh, people who uh, don't want to... Oh, eight, good. Oh, he's very upset. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I think you're killing it on the score, though. 187 out of 150. Okay, okay, it. okay, good. Big Guys Club. All the tall guys from the city are coming. Are you up for the challenge? <sighs> These are gonna be ready for this challenge. Tall, tall guys. We're gonna pre-prep. Oh, not that tall. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but they're they're you know they got a they got a tall body. Eight. Happy. Nine. you're getting a lot more precise. You're in the 7 to 10 range a lot of the time now. So I've started to make my list for PRGE, the oh, things nice. I'm looking for. Some of them are like, uh, I don't think they'll even have it there. Some of them are like, oh, they'll, they'll definitely have it, but at what cost? Right? At what cost? And there's deals to be had there, but there's also like, well, if it's pretty rare, you're going to pay the money, because where else are you going to find it, right? Why did it cost you everything? <laughs> Remember, that guy wants an orange tie. He's going to have to wait his turn, Mr. Orange. In Trump mode, the tie can only be red and must go past the knees. Yeah, That's it would exactly be exactly right. Yeah. Uh, so, does everybody else out there, when they go to expos, do they have a um, do they have a list they bring? I already asked this question before, but might as well ask it again. Um, do they have a list? Is it on paper? Is it on your phone? And do you uh, do you like super prepare and like look up prices and like this is the price that it normally goes for? So how do you do? Getting closer to that number. 217. More, More colors. colors. Three colors now. Okay. Because I, I usually make a list of the things I want. And I do have like, okay, what should I be paying for this? Because prices can be really random there. Like you can find... Usually there's not like super deals because these people are in the know. They're That's not right. like completely ignorant of, of prices. They're like, I know what this goes for. Yeah, it's kind of like the garage sale is is the, like, that's the, like... Yes. Or, you know, flea markets where they're like, oh, I, I don't really care so much. Even flea or, markets, though, well, like... They're in the know now. Because they know what's up. I, I, I like the days before when people were just like, oh, video games. The old ones go for nothing because the new ones are out. Who wants old games? They're, everybody's trying to get rid of their old games to get the new SNES games. NES? That's old. The new ones are much better. And old Atari games went for like 25 cents each. Doesn't matter what, which one they were. It's like, uh, those were the fun days. And I think I'd rather have that than people obsessing over what games are worth. It's like, oh, yeah. this one's a rare one. Oh, I got a, I got a great deal on this. It's like, well, it's. I think it's just better. It's like, you, you got a game. And it's a fun, is it a fun game or not a fun game? Everything's just 50 cents. Because <laughs> I don't really care. Like, the only people I care about the worth of the games are people who are going to sell them later for profit, right? That's right. Um, 
Oh, yo! Destroyed. Okay, okay, okay. Destroyed. Esmer says, "I have a list, but I'm mostly looking to buy homebrews. That will be interesting. What's available for the Vectrex now only, that I own one? Oh, okay. nice. So I, only have, I only have twenty times. For Vectrex, it's oh, you have. Oh, wow. So now you do have to be accurate. Well, what's nice is I can just pick my time. That's true. Yep. Be nice and careful. For Vectrex at PRG, I found that." It's fairly rare stuff. Like, it's hard to find Vectrex there. Maybe it'll be better this year. Um, like, maybe you'll see one console, and it'd be like two tables that have Vectrex games, but they're all the really common games. Um, so if you're looking for common games, um, then that's fine. But um, luckily I have a full library of North American European games. Um, and anything beyond that, like the Japanese games, are way too expensive. So that's... I've kind of finished my collection. Oh, getting a little short on the ties there. Three left. Which ones are you going to give them to? Oh, Mr. Purple. Yeah. He's easy. He's number one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Zero. Did you make it? Oh, they lowered it. Okay. Two or one. Nice. Here I'll play go. some now. Level seven. Ooh, fast service. Now it's time. The time machine is moving. Oh, moving faster. Can you combine speed with high quality? 200. Okay. So that's grow. So what you'll find, the oh, trick to one. this game is if you tap it, it'll actually have a sequence of things so once you start to like feel out this game yeah. you can look and go like that's a one tap you know oh, what I mean that's a three right. tap that's a three tap that's a four Oops. you know what I mean you can actually start to kind of time it and figure that figure those details out right so like a one tap is the is that guy these two guys are one taps right and then those guys are two taps that helps a lot yeah and so that guy yeah he's a not bad. But sometimes they'll sort of land in between. The long ones are harder because you don't know how long you're holding down the tap for. But what's what? But what you can do is like, for example, those three right are all the same. So you can right. go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hit it, and get a sense of how it is, and then you can make that adjustment. Otherwise, you're just randomly throwing it. But you see what I mean? Where like, yes. since time is like not since like it's not a time thing. Yeah. yeah. So you can be a bit more mathematical about it actually, which is kind of like what I've been finding. Like the more I play this one, because yeah, these are like three taps probably yeah. yes um that guy's a probably a four tap uh, it depends how long the taps are too <laughs> but it has their own taps yeah but it, it gets it you pretty sense. close and it's nice because you can then kind of like gauge it and especially when you see that there's a multiple ones that are the same size there's a good technique of like you can go oh okay i'll make that adjustment oh uh, you can do level selects nice. too can I go right to 14? Final challenge. You cannot make a tie below 8 in this level. Endless level. How far can you go without making a mistake? You cannot make a tie below 8. What does that Which mean? means you got to nail it's all your... tall people? No, it's you, gotta, you, you won't get any points oh. unless you nail the, the tie. Oh, so. God. Oh, I see. Okay, it's not the length, it's the accuracy. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's that's hard. Cause see, this is where like those small guys are the easiest. Cause that's a one tap right there. Yeah. Oh god, no, that's no good. Do I fail? No. It's only if they land and they're bad. That's exactly right. Dang. Cause see, yeah, the one tap, perfect. Yeah. I can see why this uh, this is the final level. It's like you gotta. It's all come down to yeah, this. Yeah, and, and if you've played a bunch right from the beginning, you can You're, start to really feel out like the. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a that's a one, that's a two, that's a three. Yep. Very very cool. Lots of different levels. Um, so let's see. So you can do the level sect, which we just saw. Um, survival mode. Extend remaining time by scoring points. So how does that work? Oh oh my god. So you have, 
Oh. Yeah, so this you is... You have to keep going. So this is more of a, like, is a kind of a different tactic. Where it's almost better to place them. Um, Get them right away. It almost feels to me like, yeah, placing things is more, almost more important than... It is. Like, just getting it done. Get some points on the board. Can you go above nine, or is it, like, max out? Looks You're like it looks like it mode. kind of like adds a few each time, right? Like it looks like each landing adds a couple seconds. Yeah. Oops. But for the more tactical game play, yeah, this, this is one. this is just I also think we're, you're kind oh of just God. this game's also designed like the you're so, at such a mercy of like because it's not moving fast enough like if we could if we could control that thing oh do you know what I mean yeah. then uh then it's very possible to do a survival, do a survival mode. but I think because we're on the mercy of this kind of thing moving on its own path. There you go. Okay, we're gonna move on to the mini games contained within. Time this loop. is Time Loop. So this was first posted in 2020. It's treat um, time. Yum. Oh, yum, oops. yum, yum. It's treat time. Yum, yum, yum. Are you ready, cats? They are ready for round yes. two. Before we get into the bonus games, uh, hey. cat cam. Yo. Let's reset the points. Let's get the betting going. There we go. Don't have to explain the betting anymore, which is good. Oh. Uh, Gamma Dev, thank you for triggering treat time. There you go. Get those bells out. Everybody has two minutes to bet, place their bets. Uh, are, is everyone going to go for Sprite again? Or are some people going to brave Atari? Let's see. Six second delay from uh, Germany for Thomas. Um, yeah, if you're massive, um, if you have a massive delay, you probably want to reload the stream because sometimes if your stream if your connection's not good it buffers more and more and more um and reloading it will uh, oh 250 on sprite oh don't bite me you think that's gonna get you treats more treats by biting me oh one person's on atari we've got a game folks we've got that's a game right. uh but everybody's oh it's one to one is everybody waiting they're waiting to see. Tactics, dude. It's all there is tactics. tactics. Last minute. Getting a sense of the spread of the, uh, uh, you know, yeah, because the, the if everybody's odds, because if everybody's betting big on Sprite, you might want to put it on Atari. But if everybody's like, oh, I'm gonna go big for Atari this time, you want to put a little bit on Sprite. But uh, you can't wait too long. Watch the timer on your screen. I think that might be accurate to your local betting, but don't wait too long because it might time out um one to one still one to one people are uh oh people have upped their up their numbers for atari still get one your to one. bets in hell yeah wow come on get your bets in before it's too late dan's got his bet in oh two on atari people really believe in you this time you i believe it. in you you atari. can do it buddy the og you can do it about five seconds i mean you're left. named after this show practically so like. five seconds oh people are doing last minute bets bets are over it is two to two okay it's like, it's like those ebay bids man that's right <laughs> yeah sniping the game you ready cats yep okay let's do it oh atari's out of the gate and we've got did sprite ring his no it is a oh, double hit from double atari. hit from atari. Atari. Both or? no Sprite got his in. The only one per eat. There we go. Atari's on the ball. Oh, the door is open. I'll have to close that in a second. Sprite is trailing behind. He doesn't take it into the hallway. Oh, not not hard enough. There we go. There Atari's we go, keeping his lead. 3-2. Sprite is a little bit dazed. Oh, no. Too soft. Didn't hear that. We need we need a solid hit. Like oh. that. 4-2. <gasps> Atari is Sprite. solidly in the lead. Nope. There we go. Now you've got uh, hit ends. 4-3, but Atari still is above by... Oh, now you have to hit it. There you go. 5-3. Solid strike. Whew, he's solidly in the lead. Spray is still trailing behind, but it's 5-4. Come on, Atari. Maintain this lead. Oh, nope. Nope. Nobody's got it. Oh, Atari gets Atari it again. again. Sprite is too soft. He's being such a soft cat today. Oh, he's grazing it there we go and atari still maintaining his lead nice yeah seven right. five no oh 
Oh, Sprite's doing being delicate. It's a double tap. A soft double tap? I don't think it... Completely counts. You don't get two treats. It's one per chew. You have to finish your treat first. There we go. Sprite. Although Atari stolen. stole. Oh, no. Stolen Valor. But Sprite is caught up. It's it's not in your best interest to steal treats. That's another Sprite? Another Sprite. Oh, no. He's taking the lead. Atari is not on the ball. Oh, no, it's 9-7 now. Atari, you got to get... Oh, 9-8. Nope. Got to eat it and then ring it. Can he, can he come back from this? Can he come back? No, Sprite's poised. He's looking at it. Sprite. He's, oh, he's got it. 10-8. That's it. Throw a couple on the ground the for them. 10-8 round right if there. If you can. 10-8 round. Good kitties. Wow, what a turnaround, Atari! I have to say, in you all you can't the, steal. You know what's kind of crazy is all the time I've done this game, Atari has won once. While I'm here. <laughs> yeah, he's he's the he's the dark shadow in all this. The I'm dark always horse. Always cheering for him. I mean, in a way, he has won because it's also like he got like eight treats. <laughs> like it's not like he got uh, zero treats. That's true. Yeah, he gets lots of treats, but by stealing, he's sabotaging himself yeah. because he doesn't get the ring in. He's wasting time, but the cats don't know that. All they know is treats. Yum, I love treats. It's a simpler world for these guys. <laughs> it is. So Sprite wins again. Good kitty. Yes. Good stuff, buddy. Good stuff. Now, if we went by who actually got to eat the most, if we're playing Hungry Hungry Hippos rules, <laughs> then... So, Thrust wins big. 60 nice odds right there. Yeah, 52 to 48. It was 2 to 2, but Thrust got the big one. Thrust and Dan AVC bet on Sprite. And they split between them. However, they split it. Uh, 2,400 points. Great stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go now to the bonus games. Future Soccer. Okay, okay this is a mind warp, this game. It's called Time Loop. You play against your past selves. Okay. So, when you make the move for the first goal, you're by yourself in the first round. And you kick the ball. So, if you move towards the ball and hit the ball, it moves a little bit. If you move towards the ball and press the button, it'll kick it far. You can also move far by pressing the button. Move quickly. Then, round two, your past self does the exact same moves. And you have to get the ball kind of away from yourself. And the goal has moved to a different okay. position. Oh, so, shit. Okay. it is interesting. So, let's get that on the screen. Boom. Okay. So let's do it. Where can we find these games? Uh, these will be released um, at PRGE. Some of them are available. There you go. And you do have a time limit as well. And you try and score as many goals in that time. About four seconds, three seconds, two, one. Ah. Oh. oh, sorry. I just try, I was trying to figure out what. Okay. And you have to. And if you get enough points uh, banked, you can. Um, oh, we started over. Oh. Yeah. So you want to score as many goals as possible in the first round. Oh, I see. Because now you have to score at least one goal to keep going. There you go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's it's a bit of a mind warp. Now there's two enemies and they're all doing what you did. Wait, where's the goal? goal? Oh, I see, I see. You had a clear goal. Oh, no. no. Okay. Uh, yeah, it takes a couple rounds before. So you can get a version of this at the itch.io site, but it'll also be uh, boxed with no. Growing Ties Deluxe. It's a straight shot. There you go. One more. Get it. There you go. My best is 17 uh, when I played it yesterday. You can. You only have to touch any part of the goal. You don't have to like get it in between. Um, so Time Loop is a fun game where you play future soccer against your past oh. selves. <laughs> At least I got two this time. Yeah, that's a big it's advantage. Better, Believe it's better me. Better than nothing. Cause you, there you go. Because now you're ahead of the game. There you go. 4-2. Nice. So you've got a buffer of one now? Yeah. 
so you can keep continuing on for another round, even after this, and not score anything. I wouldn't <laughs> say I'm very good at these controls. <laughs> but now, now it's game time. You gotta get it in this time. There you go. Uh, you control a blue robot who has to push the green ball into the goal to score points. Move with the D-pad and press A or B button to dash. Sounds simple? Well, there's a catch. The whole game plays inside an endless repeating time <laughs> loop. Oh, it's... Oh! You pressed it to the side. You want to make sure you're centered. Perfectly centered. Sometimes the robots score for you. And you're like, nice. Hey, thanks, buddy. Yeah, sometimes I... I'm... Yeah, it's... <laughs> also, my movement speed is... Uh... You can dash. So remember, the button does dash if you need to get to the ball quick. <laughs> it gets chaotic after a while. Oh, you got to get this goal. Oh! Okay. Every six seconds, the time loop will reset the game. Yeah, score, score, score as quickly as possible in this. There you go. I don't find... I'm, I'm not great with this movement, I'll tell you that. It, it takes a bit to uh, get used to it. Um, your previous what avatar I... will turn red and it'll move exactly like you did during the previous time loop. Uh, you'll play as another robot, always blue. Up to eight robots can play at the same time. Your current avatar and seven of your previous incarnations. So in this game, you'll face the ultimate opponent, yourself. Oh, you face Shadow, don't, Shadow don't, Link. Don't. Uh, there's an increasing score limit to reach at each time loop to be able to continue oh. the game. It starts easy, but quickly becomes challenging. My best current score is 40 points. Can you do better? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think I will. Change the card image. Oh, uh, this is all part of the Growing Ties Deluxe cart. So I didn't this actually... This is the Deluxe package? Yes, the Deluxe with uh, the bonus minigames. Get it? Oh! Oh, it's so close. No! Uh. I'm, I find the movement, like, tricky in this game. Because, uh, like, it's not... It's very frenetic. It's... You, well, like, I feel like you kind of... Like, it's hard to, like, dash. Mm. And it's also, like, hard to get the angle if you miss it. <laughs> um, and also, you don't actually move that fast. Oh, pff, really? You're zipping. Oh! Well, but I mean, like, you, you, can, you can zip, but you have no precision. Oh, the precision, yes. Right? So it's just, like, it's kind of like... I just feel like I'm sort of chasing this. Thrust says this is cool. I thought this would be a game that you would like. It's very unique mechanics. I love games with crazy ideas and mechanics. Loop 11. Kicking ass. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, too high for this. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just like, uh, it's, it's, it's certain it's time. chaos. I'm just kind of moving uh, moving around. like It's because your past selves are like hogging the ball. There! Yay, I got one. That was a skill, but then determined I'm move. But then I'm so slow. Man, I need some movement speed upgrades. <laughs> need those some power upgrade need upgrades. need those boots of speed. That's right. 14 out of 13? You got, you got, oh, uh, you're getting close to I having. I need a, a level 3 haste spell. <laughs> That's right. That's what needs to happen. <laughs> but is my concentration high enough to pass the check? Constantly competing against your past self, also known as peaking in high school. <laughs> yeah. uh, Gamma Dev. That is good. 17, you got a good lead. You've I'm proud to say I didn't peak in high school because I did nothing. In high school. <laughs> Perfect. Nothing. But I set the bar super low. That's it's a good way to do well, it. I, I actually guess. I actually traveled like I was bounced around a lot in high school, so oh, that's I was rough, I was man. never in the same spot. And I remember like at one point it went like I might I wasn't even in the like yearbook. Oh my god, that's terrible. Because <laughs> I missed the photo and they had all these people being like with all their cool shit they did. And, oh no. And I was like, I bought the yearbook and, and then my mom was just like, oh, can I see your photo? I'm like, it's actually not in here. <laughs> oh no. Because I, I was away for when they did the photos and then obviously all the other stuff. So as I said, I'm happy to say I didn't peak in high school because I, I did not do too much. Neither did I. It's all up. Also didn't this win. is peak, me doing this show. Yeah. Oh, you gotta score this goal! One goal you need! I also... Oh! Okay. 22! That's better nice. than nothing. Yeah, up to seven previous me's. That's a nice little PB right there, you know? Yeah. Little, 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 little PB. Oh no! You see what I mean? 
No! <laughs> you see what I mean? No! <laughs> Welcome to my world. Yeah, that's, uh, it's... You kind of have to nail it, right? Like, when you... Because you can't really move that fast around to reposition. No, So you, you either get it or you don't. <gasps> Yeah, it's 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 challenging. Oh, there we go. There we go. No! Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Get away, old self. Consuming, no! Consuming junk food to break your teeth. <laughs> no! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Your punishment for junk food. <laughs> I gotta get this. Oh, my God. oh no! I forgot that it starts immediately. Oh my God. Okay, gotta get it. Loop six. Oh, I have to get this goal. It's perfect, perfect music. Oh, nice. Okay, one more. No, come on. No, past selves. Why do you do this to me? No. No past selves. Yes. Get it! Get it! Kick it! No! Atari! Why, Atari? <sighs> yeah, I also played this game called Outlast. I don't know if you've Outlast, heard of this. no. Oh, it's really... What genre is it? It's, it's a horror game, and it's oh. Twitch Dynamite. Oh! Like, non-ironically yeah. Twitch Dynamite. It's, like, so good to watch. Oh, incredible. Horror games are usually... Well, you cool. have a... You're, you kind of go into this, like, um, uh, this, like... Uh, uh, you're like a detective, and, and you and you find that inside this hospital, there's like some <laughs> shit going hospital. on. But you go inside, and the, and you have this camera that you look through, and the camera has night vision. Yeah. Um, but it has a number only a certain amount of battery power. Of course. So you kind, all the tropes. So you go in, and like you have to just like. Con and you can't actually attack or hit anybody. Oh no! So you can hide and you can run, and and you're basically trying to like capture this footage, but like conserve your battery power. It's really really good. Oh uh, nice! And it's about a five hour game, so it's like it's it's doable, it's doable in like a quick period of time. Oh, okay. Um, and we played it like with a with a group where we just traded whenever someone died. Mm. And it was really really fun. And I looked online. It's probably one of the most broadcasted games on Twitch. Well, it's because, new as well. well. No, it's 2019. Oh, really? It's 20 actually might even be 2018. There's oh, not less two. Staying power. So there's an old one, but what's crazy about it is it's just because as a result, like you can position the camera, you can zoom in and zoom out. So there's a lot of control over like how you, the sort of gamer, can sort of like show the audience different things. And then also, obviously, you get those golden reactions of people freaking out Screaming. from creepy shit. And it's genuinely Course. creepy. Oh, nice. It's yeah. a, re a really, really, really good game. And, like, a very short short game, too. So it's... it's, uh, it's yeah. It's, it's My called... lead! No! no! Almost got a goal there. Oh, yes! Help, helpers! Don't be... Yes! Help yeah. me get these goals. But it, it kind of reminds me a lot of those games in that genre, like Forest. It, it reminds me a bit of, reminds me like of like Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Reminds me a little bit of like, um, uh, uh, like Resident Evil. Right. So it's a little Halloween gaming <laughs> is going on. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. But, Halloween. But, and, I, and I actually time I'm, of year. But there's also just this beautiful sort of renaissance of games where like it's like what can you do? You can move. You can run. You can hide. You can look through a camera. You know what I mean? Yeah. By stripping down the mechanics, you can like create like a very different experience. And not being able to defend yourself is way, way more horrific, right? Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, racking up the You're points. Getting ahead. Some of it's by my other me's. We're doing the goals. Oh, come yeah. on. No, no, it's right there. Yes. It's one of my favorite games growing up was this Cthulhu, um, A Dark Corners of the Earth. Yeah. Which was an old Xbox One game. Yeah. And the first two levels, you had no weapon, and it was like... The... <laughs> and then it... That's it... great. But as soon as you get the weapon, it's like you can use it but it's not like the end all be all but then it kind of turns into a bit of a shooter and yeah. i really actually like the first bit of the game where you're this detective you're talking to people you're learning okay. about the town yeah. you know? building up the story really right and i like i also i just like playing like baldur's gate 3 like playing these things you realize there's some the, horror uh, areas in baldur's gate 3 yeah like the hospital and yeah and, and just <laughs> the like, oh my god and just the beauty of a of a game that's a bit more of a straight line you know yeah there's so many games that are just expansive like starfield just came out and it's just this like, like it's like here's infinite, just endless right? and it's kind of like i don't know if i want to just immerse myself in a simulacrum <laughs> forever yeah you know? and it, and it's also like 
you can get a really strong storyline when it's something that is um, linear. Yeah, it's like when, like, in Witcher 3, they're just like, so you gotta chase after Siri, <laughs> But then you're like, but you can fuck around in town <laughs> and do endless side quests forever. It's hard to feel that sense of urgency when you, when you can just no. kind of, like, do anything. You know? It, yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, God. This game. I have to get two goals? How did that happen? Does it ramp up how many it's goals? It's gotta be. It's gotta oh, be. It's, no. It's ramping. 21, I tied you. Okay. Um, this is Time Loop, and it's inside the Tiomatic. Oh, what is this game? Are these guys inside the Tiomatic providing the raw materials to form ties? Yes. So this, this is how ties are made. Just so you know, your past self tries to cut the ties. Perform the appeal. What up, dude? I don't know if you can reset back to the game or do you have to power it off? Hey, little Atari, what you, you might doing? have to power it off to get back. I don't know if Dr. Ludos is still in the chat. Doctor, is the doc in the house? Is there a doctor in the house? Kitten, why? 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 Do you want to get squished? That's a yes. <laughs> Growing ties. And bonus. we'll go to the next bonus game, which is fishing for Atari. Atari not, fishing. Not you. Should I just jump in and, and see what uh, happens? Yeah, yeah. And this is a two-player game, actually. Oh, sick. So um, you'll have to actually move. I'm sorry. So put the joystick here. And I will be on the button. You'll be on the joystick. All you have to do is press the joystick, and it'll shoot out your rod. Cool. And we're going to be catching Ataris. Hey, okay. Uh, okay. Are we ready? Yeah, let's do it. I'm on the right-hand side. And I got some, uh, some more time. It is kind of cooperative in the time element, oh, but also competitive in the fact that that we are um, competing for things that are in the... You can't get it on the way back. You have to get it on the way out. So we've got some uh, links there. We've got some 2600s. Uh, we've got a, an ST. We've got an 800 XL, for sure, based on its dimensions. Um... Where's the love for the 7800? Oh, no love for the 7800. Oh, we've got a um, a 400 or an 800. Got some clocks, which gives us more time on the board. No. Oh, missed it. No, 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 no. Gobbling it all up. It's a game where you gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, I want that time. Ah. Uh, Oh, you're getting everything. Oh my god, you're getting everything. Oh, not the time. Every time you see a time, get it. Got 15 seconds left. No. no. 11 seconds. Are they going to give us some more time? Give us. All we need is time. Just a bit more time. Oh, I got it. It's oh, just like we that, need more. That Justin Timberlake movie. That's what oh, it is. <laughs> no. Ah, no. I think is it. No. Oh, 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 two, one. 65 to 67. You just beat me. Game over. You win. No Atari cat, though. No. Okay. Ready for round two? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm understanding. We'll best the, of three. I'm understanding the mechanics. Sure. Sounds good. That's why I have a fighting chance. <laughs> Not much to the mechanic. Oh, you bastard. Oh. Yeah. Oh, time. Nice. Thank you. It's the only cooperative thing in this game. Yeah, someone's got to take it for the team. You That's know? right. Waste their uh, yeah, yeah. turn for the... Oh, my God. I'm missing so many. Oh, I got one by chance. No. Man. See, I missed so many, too. <laughs> yeah, you. sometimes you just, like, confidently grab. Is there more points for the Atari Lynx? Time. It's slipping away Time. from us. Sometimes just hammering the button is a good tactic if when there's so many on the screen. Oh, no, the time! Oh, just missed it. Oh, how come I didn't get that ST? Oh, we're shorter time. We didn't get many clocks this time. 
You can beat me again. Oh, this is your game. Best of, best of five. <laughs> <laughs> and no. Oh, yeah, I guess so. No. Uh, we'll just do one more. Yeah, let's do one more. Yeah. I can't I can't beat you, but I can beat you at least one game, maybe. Oh, get the time. Oh, I almost... I, I... Sometimes maybe it's not to your advantage to get the time if you're, like, spanking the other person, like, really well. Got it. Nice. Got it. Cute game. Oh, really, time. really fun. Also yeah. fun, fun to play two-player. Not many two-player games on the links because it's a handheld. <laughs> I mean, there's a two-player uh, multiple links games. Oh, you where you can I, join them up. But uh, you know what I didn't realize, which yeah. is so dumb of me. But like, yeah. I just show, it goes to show how little. I didn't realize that the Switch is actually a handheld console that then you yeah. rig to be up to your screen. Yep. Which I was blown away by that because I'm like, it's so smart. I'm like, that makes so much sense for like Nintendo and like what the direction they're going in. They know people are on the go and the audience, especially younger people too, like kids and stuff. Yes. And the fact that you can take your console and then just like, it's so good. Because they their biggest sellers are their handhelds, so they're like, okay, well, let's combine the two, and yeah. we don't have to make two things. We have the best of both worlds. Well, also you think about like a kid, right? Oh, look at all oh, this yeah. time we've caught. Oh got us yeah. Well, you think about a kid, like if you if you're going on like a road trip, you, you get, then you take the experience that you're playing like at home. Yep. And then you're able to then like um, immediately you you don't even need to like you don't need two different consoles. Although I've heard that the battery life is not like the best. Uh, well, you can always bring a battery to charge it up with, or charge it where you are. You know, on the off hours. If you're in a car, there's a charger. If you're in a house, there's a charger. The only time not is like when you're out, like literally outside. <laughs> oh, dude, I just got some more time for us. Oh, nice, because I need. More <laughs> to get more points. You're kicking my ass again. I think I'm not pressing it enough. Are you just like hammering it? No, I'm. I'm Damn just, it! Just kick tactics. Ass again. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna move on to. I also the think that um. Uh, I also have a have a theory. I could yeah. be wrong. That it appears that more seems to be spawning on the far left than right. So I'm able to Maybe. tap it much more quickly. Because that is a factor. Because in general, it looks like. Let's just do it one more time and let's just do a test oh, and, yeah. and and see. Right. Let's not like. Let's not run let's anything. Just... But see, like, so we have two that go there. Two. And then two. One, two, three. One in the middle. So three, it, it's pretty. St it's maybe four, pretty standard. Three. Five, six, seven. Eight, also, it seems count. pretty even actually. Pretty now that we're I'm, I'm sure the it. randomization is clear, like even across the board. Yeah, but he, here, like, it's a bunch of clusters that are close. So. Yeah, and it depends if they're moving faster or slower. Like the slower ones are easier to get yeah. for you. So, the randomization if, just could have been slightly more in your favor. Yeah, because because if something's close, right, it's just like bam, I've got it, right? Yeah. Because I think that when you're doing those large leaps and you miss them, then you miss out all these chances. So I found myself mostly just trying to like go for the close ones was at least my tactic. Oh, that I mean that's smart because you get it faster and get it back and, faster. And then you're going to get more that generates because I found every time I missed like a big one, I was like, oh shit, because then I lost all my close ones. There you go. And we're on to the last game. Who knew that the games would be good at is tying and fishing. <laughs> that's right. You can ask for both. So funny. Uh, this Gift Catcher. Gift Catcher. Uh, it's first released December 14th, 2020. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. Probably on his itch.io as well. But this will be part of the Growing Ties Deluxe. So get in there. Let's go for it. Uh, Ooh, a little... Can oh, we will have to play it sideways. But they will see it correctly. Because I have something for this. Oh, God. It's... Oh no! This is a this is an an inverted uh, stance. You know? Yeah. Uh, where is it? Where's the filter? It's on the video game. Oh, it is. Is it? Where the hell is the rotation? Or maybe it's an. It's a feature. Yeah. Oh, I know. I think it's rotated here. Transform. Yes. Okay. I got it. Yeah. This is a inverted guard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, transform. Rotate. 180. Nice. I think. There we go. 
This is you play lying on your side when tired. That's right. <laughs> That's right. This it, is. This it doesn't is... actually affect the gameplay that it's sideways for us, but I like it so. When they can see it. When you're so dejected that all you can do is lay in the fetal position, this is the game <laughs> this for is you. Perfect. But I mean, the handheld is meant to be have a vertical mode uh, or horizontal mode because it's a handheld. So yeah, it makes sense. It doesn't sense really matter it's... how you hold it. Okay, so um, can you help Santa catch all the gifts without touching snowflakes? The game is played in vertical mode only using the A, B, and bu a, B buttons. At first, Santa will move on top of the screen, press the button, he'll dive down to catch a gift. Now you can press and hold the button to make him climb back up to the top of the screen. Catch all the gifts, avoid touching the moving snowflakes. My current high score is 24 points. Oh go shit, okay. This is yeah, it's on, the glove has been turned down. And then you press it again to retract. On. Now there's snowflakes in the mix. Now don't get, don't touch the snowflakes. Because they're very sensitive. Oh, they are snowflakes. They are, they're just... <laughs> oh, there you go. Ooh, see? So there is a, a smaller hitbox than in Santa. Uh, oh. oh. Man. Poor Santa's One life. just getting fucked up by these snowflakes oh yeah he's he can't he it's too can't bad that the them. only time he can do this is in the season <laughs> that there's like he doesn't get much practice right he only can only do it around christmas time where there's presents it's here in california right oh yeah that's a tough go and not much like snow in california Cal the, the cali santa at least not in la there. there's lots of mountains where they get snow. desert boa vibes okay yeah okay let's uh can see why like getting 20 go. points is a big deal yeah what is his this is 24. one of those this really is one of those like s more of a tortoise than a hare yes there's no time limit you don't have to panic you can wait till they're all lined up perfectly you would think that like he's got to get all this shit done in like what 24 hours but yeah nope cool let's see this one's the practice level oh shit so you can see a bit of terror there inevitable unless i had a, a variable refresh rate upscaler <laughs> um which will this does have variable refresh i should play with it and see if it works Go. Damn it. so I've, I've figured out my next tattoo if when i will get Ooh. it it is the um 6502 chip nice where are you gonna where do you know the spot uh no that's the issue i don't know the spot yet um it's the chip that powered the 80s it it's it's in everything it was in um the 2600 it was in the atari 8-bit system it was in the nes it was in the commodore 64 and about a billion other things so it's like my childhood in a chip oh really right so you gotta get a, but you gotta build up this whole uh, ankle sleeve. You know, get, get your whole, <laughs> oh, yeah. get your leg going. I, I, I don't think it would be on my leg. <laughs> It'll be like it's at the beginning of a piece, though. It's you know. somewhere not normal, and somewhere I can but, like hide it a bit, maybe. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And the design, obviously, would be, it can be either realistic, or it can be like. A bit like stylized. Um, I know, don't want to go too realistic. I know you never do this, and I don't think this would actually be. The, the, I don't think this would be your play, but it'd be very cool to do. Is to get it just like right above, right in the behind the ear here. Oh, you see what I mean? Like this spot here, because you, because nice. with your haircut, you've got the you hair. See it and what's yeah. cool is that whatever side you decide to throw it on, you could hide it. But also, like, because you always have this exposed yes. just a little bit, and it'd be hidden behind there. And I, I, I that's think a that's candidate. A, that's it's a, a very candidate. cool spot. I've seen some people getting them now, like more like here. And with I, yes. it's something I've almost considered being like with the buzzed head. But it's tough because it's like um, you. I think I think for your hair it would fit better because you've yes. got the like because with the fully buzzed it's just hundred percent. I've seen people get tattoos there. Uh, people that are hard of hearing yeah. and they get the speaker with the line through it. That's a, I've seen that a billion times. Right. Yeah, and but so there's but you can get spot. but you can get some cool designs, right? Because it's it's near my head, brain. You know, it's the chip that powers that's everything. That's right. 
and, 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 and I mean they're so typical. That's like, right. On the back of the neck, it's like, oh, that's the obvious. It's so right? obvious. But but I I, I no, think no. And, I, and I do think it would be cool with your hair because it's like, and you could yes. cover it or not cover it, which is kind of sick. Exactly. So I'd put it on this side, yeah. right where my hair goes over, because this side it's always exposed. Right? Oh so yeah, because it falls one way or the other. Yeah, and I've always kept it on this side. That would be that would be the my recommendation. I think that would be a that's cool the spot. number one candidate right now, and I like the fact that you can hide it, but it's also at a very prominent yeah. spot at the same time. And it's also nice because it can like I feel like a lot of like tattoos, depending on where you get them, are almost begging to then be expanded out. You know, right. but because as soon as you get something on your arm, you're like, well, fuck, I gotta get. You know, you start to <laughs> build up. But what's nice about that is a very singular spot. Like that's not one you necessarily want to build a whole bunch of stuff around. It's kind of a one yes. and done, right? Which, it is just because of that spot. Yep. Oh my god, why did I do that? Okay, I'll do one more. One more. That was a very poor showing. Yeah, if I had the money, I'd get some more. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you want to pay top dollar. You yeah. want to get a good tattoo artist because it's on your body forever. Oh, it's the stupidest thing to like try to like, like, oh, can I get a discount? It's like, why are you asking for a discount? Or, yeah, like, and, just don't. And, and artists are good, but like it almost on some level sometimes appears almost more like a salon, you know, where you're going in to make yeah. your appointment. Like, like a haircut that'll be like, oh, just go in and oh, who's here today? It's like, no. And, you just got to scope out their styles. Look at their portfolio. Does it match the style that you want? Um, do they do a lot of these things? Of course, I've, I've watched tattoo artist videos where they're like, oh, I only put things in my portfolio that I want to do, which is good. That's the way right? to go. That's, that's, well, that's their advertisement. Like, really, yeah. it's like you want to, if you if you don't see any indication of, like, the style or placement yeah. of the things you're interested in. Don't force them to do it. It's probably not the person. They may not want to do it either. Like, oh, I'm not really good at that. Because if they don't do a good job, they, they're they on the line for it, right? They're yeah. on the hook. And I think it's so cool to kind of align them with milestones in your life, right? Yes. And, and, and like, for, this was for my 50th right. present to myself and 25 years of being vegan so uh it, it's important and a lot of people do um get them for specific purposes for remembering people but some people just go and get them so it's a thursday i'm gonna go get it yeah because because the, ah! the experience of getting one is actually really like very addictive unfortunately um and so <laughs> i can understand that now so but like yeah you don't want to necessarily be just doing it for the experience no I feel that way sometimes about beer, where I'm like, I love, I'd love to just drink a beer and not get drunk sometimes. <laughs> really? Because uh, I just love the experience of well, sitting and having, having. There are alcoholless but, beers. Yeah, but they don't taste like. <laughs> they're not good. They're okay. They're not okay. bad, but you can tell that they're not the thing. The same with a tattoo. It'd be fun to have uh, the experience of a tattoo without getting one. But henna. But what makes them go. good is the is Anatomies. the permanence, right? Like it's yes, that's actually serious, right? It's not. That's the problem is that like when you reduce the stakes, it doesn't have the same. Oh, Friggin' 12. Santa. I want one more. Yeah, keep that was going. Bad. <laughs> Santa, get your act together. This is on his off hours. Why would Santa Claus live in the North Pole if snow can hurt him? Well, that's there's, a good question. There's and, the irony. And like he's just hanging out on like pack ice and sea ice. <laughs> <laughs> there's no actual land oh what yeah what is this exact oh what did happen what happened am i screwed oh no, no i can go good. back to the top um like is he in the air uh is he in a cloud going down like is he propelling it really does feel is like he he's, santa jesus it does from feel like heaven? he has some pack ice above him and he's just leaping into the water attempting to retrieve yeah, these, he go these packages oh, god right? i'll keep going you guys it's terrible it's the last game, so I'm. Uh, so we, we're we're good. We don't have to rush mm -hmm. off to something. The chip embedded in a met metal skull, embedded through torn skin. I've seen that torn skin. I think that's played now. Um, it looks good, but um, it's it's so common. I think I try and get the, try and go for things that are not common, like like no. I've looked online. Nobody has this tattoo. Oh, yeah. I was trying to find examples of other people. So people have grass. They don't have grass on their feet, That's which right. seems like the obvious thing. It feels you, like the spot. You walk in grass, right? Um, but people have like a lot of plants and um, things that grow in nature, but um, not on their feet. 
not too yeah. many. So it was hard to find an example. And and it's interesting when you get into it, you start to really see the like the big styles of them, and like how, I'm like, oh yeah, this person really does this style, you know? Oh my god! Oh, okay, I'm done. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll try like beat your high score. I can't remember what you got. I think you got good. four. Four? No, you did <laughs> yeah, I did terrible. <laughs> It's a good Christmas game. I'll have to remember this one. Oh, uh, oh, double hit. <laughs> double death. Oh, no. Santa. My guy. My guy. <laughs> so I do want to thank uh, Dr. Ludos and Lord Kraken for uh, allowing me to play these games, Lord, to preview them Lord before Kraken. Lord Kraken. Such a sick name, dude. I so like this good. name. It's not just Kraken. It's Lord, Lord. Kraken. Bleh. Kraken's enough, right? Uh oh, Re release the Kraken, right? That's right. But Lord Kraken, that's his boss. <laughs> yeah, I was a blast playing these. I was I was so happy. I was able to get to the end of uh, Odin Nexus yeah. without cheating. He gave me a cheat code, but you, I didn't need it. You man. didn't need it. I didn't need it. Because we're god gamers over here. <laughs> that's right. We destroy the games. The god gamers of the. Aha, uh -huh, I'm the master kraken indeed. Presents falling from a sleigh that he has to rappel down to grab is my head cannon, and the snowflakes uh, in the clouds in the North Pole are as big as ninja stars. That's right. Okay, okay. So he's dropped these presents out of, say, his sleigh, which are in the clouds. No. Oh, you're doing some good, good, I was trying good to maneuvering do some, there. Some evasion. Yep. Yeah, in in D and D, everyone wants to like fight krakens, but yeah. they're such high level and they're so hard. And the problem with like some of these like D and D like monsters is you like don't actually do any justice to the mythology to make them easy. Mm, no, you want to you want to keep the like because you almost have an when you build up to that. Yeah, right? and you kind of owe actually the mythology of it, um, and and you have a bit of a verse. Oh, I thought that was gonna miss you, but it didn't. Same. You you have a responsibility to make sure that like. Yeah, when you meet the Kraken, it's actually a fucked up creature. You don't just kill it at level four. But no one. Yeah. But the problem with D and D is no one. Most could fight a baby. Most kraken. people don't even get there. Well, that's the funny thing is that like with dragons in the monster manual, they have dragons scaled to every level because because uh, you you don't I mean, want to. It's called Dungeons and Dragons. Right? Yeah, you gotta fight a dragon. Yeah, but you have, can meet like a like a wormling and like there's all these ranges of ones, which is just a mechanical like challenge yeah but again i actually believe too like philosophically you shouldn't encounter a dragon until you've earned it you know oh god no. and like again you need to do them oh, do justice to the to the uh, mythology of it all yeah. which is not easy uh yorgi's castle says games only have to be fun they don't have to make sense and this lo uh totally looks fun it is it we're keep, no, not, we're keep playing it <laughs> um and and most of the games in the 80s did not make any sense <laughs> yeah. they're just like yeah, this thing does this thing, and it's in this kind of also, land, like, and it's so part of our like lexicon that we like don't even think about how fucking strange it is that you like are a plumber rescuing a princess, <laughs> like yeah, eating fighting mushrooms. And... There's just like a pipe you just just jump through, and now yeah, you're in a totally water normal. world. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just part of our world, and um... like you're, and also you're just like this like little weird like circular pizza that's just devouring like pills and it eats big pills to then be able to kill ghosts you're like what the fuck is going on is if happening? you pitch this game to like your friend they'd be like i don't know if anyone will kidding? understand this yeah oh yeah for sure and i think a lot of the games were born out of the ability of the systems to do whatever it's like oh we know how to make maze games now so let's make a bunch of maze games yeah now we know how to make shooters make a bunch of shooters just throw it at throw everything at it but now computers and consoles can make can play any game you That's can right. imagine so now they make uber realistic games or games that are more like movies yeah um which which is great because you know those things weren't around previously or they were whoa oh, almost some evasion one more. Yeah, one more keep it going best is 12 i gotta beat that 12. the streams are part of the narrative that actually makes sense that's true it, it actually is. justifies the whole scenario yeah he's like oh i see it's sh he's on shrooms but only if like and he needs more because <laughs> he's coming down yeah, only if he like what would happen he'd just be like hanging out being like man i just really feel this tree's energy <laughs> i feel like in real shrooms he'd forget about the princess and just like touch oh, yeah. the touch the pipe and be like what is oh, my life man. become 
am I a plumber? But I, that doesn't do plumbing. And he's like, what look at this. Why are we why are we fucking stomping on these goombas? What did what did they do? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I missed it. Oh my god, that was pathetic. Yeah, now you're stuck. You gotta like make my way back. back. It's some Spider Man energy too. He just repels down on his. Well, I do like the mechanics of this that cool. you can adjust yourself. All these two at the bottom are just Oh, this is yeah, you doing my head in. Well, this is also like there's a kind of um, RNG aspect to this game too, Huge. right? Like, let's say that like you were lucky enough that for 25 times it just appears right like the, on the far left, like uh, right at the oh, top. sorry, the top. I'm for us it's the left. Yeah. You guys, it's the top. Oh, the um, the new uh, retro tank um, 4K has a Tate mode, which is or Tate. Tate mode. Yeah. So I won't have to do it in the OBS. It'll oh, be like, nice. oh, I'll, I'll switch to uh, profile eight for this game. And it's just already done. Oh, it's fun so to play games. The last couple of times I was on were, were like, were crazy, oh, interviews. crazy, it was, yeah, the crazy last episodes. Two were like the, um, the purge and then was the Atari interview. Yeah. So you haven't played games nice in so long. Have a home show. But those were like really cool episodes. They were like crazy very, very episodes. unique, like once in a lifetime kind of stuff, right? <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised the, for the month of October this wasn't skinned with a spider dropping down to a, uh, onto okay. something avoiding ghosts or witches. Oh, this game, yeah, it's true. It, this this format you can really it, like. I mean, this is technically coming out in the store in the Atari Age store in November, so it's really going to be more appropriate then. Um, super fun pack of games, yeah. um, included in this multi cart that's being released. Um, excellent, uh, job, Dr. Ludos. Always enjoy Lude. his games. So let's take a look at what's coming up on the show in the next little bit. Not many shows before PRGE. One second. Let me prepare this. There we go. Uh, web page. Boom. Okay, that's what we play today. Odin Nexus. Awesome shoot up. Good stuff. Dude. Shoot em up. Shooter. Um, highly recommended. Definitely as solid. somebody who solid loves game, shooters. Um, and there's a hard mode, so if you blaze through it, there's more to go. And James made it look easy. I personally I don't think I would have gotten to the end without maybe playing for a, a number of days, yeah. really grinding it out. I would say it's a, a medium skill level. The yeah. hard is like hard. I'm I'm I, I would say that I have a low skill level with this <laughs> style sure. of shooters. I just yeah. don't have a lot of experience playing them. Yeah. I've literally the only time I've ever played them is on this show. Oh, there you go. So like to let you more know, more practice. I'm getting more practice, but it's also one of those things where I can feel like it takes me a minute to like yeah really get into it yeah it's a mindset uh, and, growing ties deluxe it's an awesome package of mini games yeah and also my psa for the week yes. don't bite your nails <laughs> just don't <laughs> it's not worth it because nails are not they're pretty hard and well, especially it, if you're going down like this that's right on them they they pack a punch and like, for like 25 years <laughs> <laughs> like they're on the scale of rock hardness. Like you can scratch some rocks with your nails, and some rocks you scratch your nails with. That's right. Um, they are they are to be reckoned with. That's why we grow them. <laughs> That's right. For opening things. So yeah, don't bite your nails if you're Wolverine chomp. Oh, well, if you're Wolverine, you just grow new teeth. Yeah, it all, I think. I think. Does what he is, grow? What is Wolverine's teeth like? Wolverine is a mammal, um, but it's is it in like the rodent? Well, what's interesting Fear? is he can rapidly grow himself, right? But he stops, obviously. But the question bones just don't keep growing. Exactly, and also like, and what about bones. what about things that don't grow? Because your teeth don't grow. No, we're not rats. We're not rabbits. Rabbits and rats, their teeth. Rodents, their teeth grow forever. That actually be kind of nice. I want some of that. Because you could do custom teeth. You could you can get shaped then, teeth, holes through them. Put <laughs> put little things in them. You know, people would definitely buy jewelry for their. I mean, they do it now. Um, yeah. Like, mm. um, no, I bet you everyone's everyone's fine. It's just a crazy, crazy like. Basically oh yeah, it's adamantium hours. bones, so they don't. No, he, regrow. he doesn't have adamantium bones. Actually, he initially had regular bones because early Wolverine in the comics, you'll see he'll have his bone claws. And what oh. they did is they did an experiment on him to 
turn his bones into adamantium, which okay. then becomes the like. They didn't replace his teeth with no, adamantium. And I think they only did like his. I think they only did like some of his bones. I don't think they did like his skull, his skull, his or anything like that. Chest. Yeah, but he has healing powers. So he does. And and his healing powers stop at a normal spot. Is like as if you he was born from birth. Like I've seen yeah. one of the meltdown a comic that I used to have. He went into a nuclear reactor. And pretty much got destroyed to the atom. Yeah. And he rebuilt his whole body. But then it was rebuilt to normal body. So I would think if his teeth are destroyed, it would just regrow the teeth again. I think again. so. I think he's like... Yeah. In a way, he's kind of one of the OP uh, like superheroes. You yes. know what I mean? Like In a way, you realize that's like stupidly overpowered. Oh, compared he's to like, out of control overpowered. <laughs> compared to... You can defeat him, but he'll just come back later. That's right. Like You'll get a he's bit just... of time after you mush him into a ball um but he'll come back but he's 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 a cool character i like him um oh yeah we're looking at this so now we're gonna be playing Ooh, when is this over might have to play that tonight after dark uh dragons, dragons. havoc in 1942 for the uh 2023 atari homebrew high score contest round five um we have a to be determined on for our last show before PRG, so, so I don't know what's going on. These are on good there. questions, RC seventy. How do the cells decide? I really wonder that as well. Uh DNA. How do and our else, how do our cells? But also it out? this is the other thing is with this we adamantium. Grow tongue. How does that get decided? Yeah. It's it's just human DNA. They know. Yeah, and there's a rise and fall too. Yeah, it's it's fascinating. I'd have to Biology's ask insane. Tanya about that because she she took chemistry in, in university. So I'll have to ask her about the tongue. How does the tongue know when to stop growing? How That's does fine. any of our cells, like it's growing a nose. Our noses grow forever, actually, and our ears. That's why you see old people with like massive long noses and big, super, big ears. super ears. They grow super slow. But the rest of our body stops growing. Some of it keeps growing, some of it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't they all regrow into a full raven? Oh, you chop them up in half. Now you've got two, you create two. four. I bet they've done that in some comic yeah. of Wolverine. There was a really cool like, um, m like manga I read called Blade of the Immortal, and it was like this guy got these like parasites that would rebuild him, and oh, he wow. just became like the most important person. He was like set in feudal Japan, and everyone wanted to like oh. get him to to use it, and he like the idea was is he killed like a hundred people who were like good people, and they were like you're cursed with this thing, and you need to like protect. And this is kind of like a it's Ronin cool style where he's like, but he, but it's really, it goes into this stuff too of just like, of these regrowing and rebuilding. And at a certain point he just gets captured and someone's just performing these horrible experiments on him oh, and he's just God. stuck. And it's like, this, it's such a cool premise. Like it reminded me a lot of Wolverine, how you can kind of like yes. play with this, like the fringes and, and they kind of got into these discussions of like, even characters would bring up things like this of like how to, because they were trying to like experiment on him, experiment on him to right. get him to like do his thing yeah so yeah. they could get it and they would like cut his arm off and oh, try to I put it on someone else graft it onto somebody and to see like what would happen it's just, and it, it goes uh. dark into that stuff but it's actually like Ooh. really really cool shit uh and then we're gonna be at prge doing some live broadcasting i don't know how that'll look it'll just be chaotic and crazy but hopefully we'll uh, get some cool people on the stream and just chat with them it'll all come together yep um and we have uh fabrizio caruso cross-platform games another guy who's making some cross-platform games he's built up a number of them they're really fun they're in like the 8-bit 5200 7800 all those systems and a, a huge number of other ones then on october 20th we're going to be playing have the exclusive world premiere of doom slayer edition on the jaguar uh it is really really cool um, I may move this up to the 10th if nothing else happens. We'll see. I've got some irons in the fire for some maybe nice. some exclusive Ooh. stuff. We'll see if that happens. Um, I can always move up to 7800 as well. At the end of the October, we have the ABVUC 2023 contest entries we're going to play through. Right now they're voting on those, so we don't know that yet. Then uh, the show actually falls on October 31st. Ooh. And we're going to be playing Tober's Nightmare, Fright Zone, and Hobgoblin. That's a late show. 
We don't... Oh, I was going to ask people about costumes. We have no idea what costumes we are going to dress up as this year. So it might yeah. be a panic last minute thing. Oh, terrible, we, terrible panic. Well, sure, but also you got a month still. Like, got a three, yeah. maybe three weeks. It's a good amount of time. So you're, 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 you're still good. okay. I what? like how I like how for you, you're like, I only have two weeks ahead of time. Is it going to be a panic last minute? <laughs> oh, yeah. It just goes to show how, like, you are one that definitely... You are you have a Tanya plan. Tanya and I are planners. Oh, yeah. We are years ahead, in the, months uh, ahead. In the Myers Briggs, they're a J. It's oh, a hard J. <laughs> INT, I, I, INFJ. INTJ. That's INTJ. what we are. INTJ, Tanya yeah. and I. It makes sense. <laughs> yeah, INTJ. Um, and then in October, November, we're going to do the four player special. Uh, Erin's going to be here. Darcy's going to be right. here. Tanya's going to be here. I'm going to be here. We're going to be playing four people at once, strictly four player simultaneous games. Do you know if that one will be earlier in the day or later in the day? Uh, we will make sure it's good for you. Oh, it's, it's good for Darcy, good it's, for Tanya. It'd probably be good for me, but I just mean what's fun about those four player ones is if it's later in the day, we can have some beers and like. I can have beers anytime. But I, I, but just, yeah. I just don't want to start drinking at noon. It's just. That's right. <laughs> so we can make it an, uh, a later show. That could be really fun. Yeah. So Because we'll, uh, even, even if five is better. I yeah just, i just get yeah. so tired i'm just not a big drinker and if i start drinking oh. and then i just honestly i just it bricks my whole day yeah, i don't imbibe till late at night <laughs> yeah it's like a oh, sleepy time now yep um uh, yeah so we'll maybe do it late in their day so we can re- have some have some drinks yeah because I, yep. I remember on the like the 24 hour or four, 12 hour stream rather yes. we by the end we were all just vibing playing four four player games it That's feels true it feels yeah. like the the cool thing when you have everyone that would be good and everybody else would be late at night for them too. and just so a fun like, energy of all just chilling out yeah, like probably. a like a friday late at night yeah, yeah that'll be good yeah and i'm definitely free and it, and it kind of has to be late for tanya Right, so unless it's a weekend, yeah, so and it, Friday, uh, Friday at six, that, yeah, it's, that's perfect because yeah, I'll, I'll have a couple Darcy can make sure Darcy can, yeah, yeah. have a couple beers at six. <laughs> Excellent, and then we're gonna do uh, punish ourselves and play every single Atari Jaguar game ever made, the OG games, Damn. for its thirtieth anniversary in November. So that's a three part um, series. Then we're gonna do Atari Age Day. Uh, maybe one day we'll pack it in there's 21 games we're going to speak to all the developers unbox all the games before they go f- on sale at in the atari age store uh and of course in december atari age atari Ho- holiday homebrew special we could play that game we just played the links yeah. um and then we're into award season <laughs> before you know it man. yeah it's coming up i have to start start doing the planning again oh boy Ooh, it comes so fast every year. Up every and there's time. some good games this year in competition. Oh my goodness. Yeah. There's a big roster of games. So I'll have to figure all that out. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. I'll have to review the footage and make sure everything's good. I cranked up all the settings now to like maximum because I got the new computer. Yeah. It doesn't even doesn't even care. Nice. It's so powerful. It's got a 4070, and it uses the GPU for encoding, so it just, like, max, max, max. It rips through all. Oh. And I looked at the last episode. It's like, yeah, there is no breakdown in the video whatsoever. There's it's no, yeah, ins- no digitization it's or anything. It's insane, like, how, like, you, we just keep thinking that technology is going to, like, we've got the best that it can be, and it we've just maxed, keeps yeah. getting better. They find a way around it. Like, I keep hearing, like, oh... You know, we're at the minimum size of wiring and making uh, CPUs because you like we're up against the wall of physics. But then they bring in the GPUs that take over and it's like, oh, we'll just throw more cores at it. More cores, more cores, more cores. Parallel processing. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out with us. RC70, Dan ABC, Yorgi's Castle, Gamma Dev, Lord Kraken. Thank you so much. Awesome games. Thrust, uh, Metal Lunar 7. Uh, huge ass. Um, I see what you did with that name. S Ramirez. Oh, Hugh. it's clever. Hugh. I see. I see what you did, Jazz. Hugh. Hey, Jass, Mister Hugh. Uh, who else? Lord Kraken, the Lord one and only. Kraken. Can't read that. Beef Supreme zero seven. Uh, Rod Castler, Mick Muse. Hey, Mick Muse. Hey. Um, I'll be playing his game on Halloween. Uh, Master KSI. KSI? KSI. You're boxing soon. That's right. <laughs> Lazy developers will consume any resources you provide them. 
hundred percent. You make a more powerful computer. Oh, we can do more. Oh, we've hit our maximum again. <laughs> Better lighting. Oh, hit our maximum. Shadows everywhere. Yeah. Oh, look at that water. You can oh, see dude, through it. And check it's, it out. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, put in some fog now. Max it out. Yeah. Um, so we'll be back uh, on Tuesday for our last show before PRGE. Um, so everybody, what's going on there? Oh, he just, he just, oh, he did that. I'm like earthquake. He, he just bumped the, the so door. everybody, uh, ray tracing. Yep. Have a great, uh, weekend and, uh, we'll be back on Tuesday. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.